Romans chapter 8 verse 19. Warumi sura ya 8 mstari wa 19. It says, for even the whole creation, all of nature waits expectantly and longs earnestly for God's sons to be made known. It Amen. waits for them to be revealed, to be disclosed of their sonship. Amen. Amen is exactly what I have there. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. So, for Kwa maana, even the old creation, you see it in the back bracket, eh? Unaona imeweku kwa mabano yote. All nature, it is in bracket. Maumbile yote iko kwenye mabano. They wait expect, expectantly. Yani wanatafta, kwa, wanangoja kwa matarajio maku. If you remove this word, ukiondoa hilo neno, the entire verse will still have meaning. Sasa, andiko hilo bado litakuwa na maana. So they will say, Wa, itasema, for creation, Maana maumbile, wait, inangoja, and long, na inatamania, honestly, kwa, kwa uchu, will still, it still makes sense. Yes. Bado inamanisha. But when you read scripture, lakini unaposoma andiko, you see a word like this, hearted, na unaona andiko, neno kama hili limeongezwa, that is overemphasized. Ambayo inatilia mkazo zaidi. Wait expectantly. Yani inangoja kwa matarajio maku. And long honestly for God's sons to be made known. Na inangoja kwa uku kwa wana wa mungu wadhi, wajulikane. The next words are also in bracket which means they belong to the other one. Sasa mambo maneno yanayo fuatia pia yako kwenye mabano na pia yanaongezea ya So they wait for the rev- the revealing, the disclosing of their sonship. Wanangoja kufunuliwa ama ku, kuwekwa wazi kwa uwana wao. But the question is, ni munyamagani huyu sonship? <laughs> and the question is, who's, which animal is this? Yeah, because you have to ask yourself, what is this sonship that people are saying they are waiting for? Kwa sababu wapaswa kutiuliza, ni uwana upi ambao watu wanangoja? And that's why I ask a very simple question. Na why ndiyo, is creation waiting for us to manifest sonship? Na ndiyo sababu ni kauliza swali raizi sana. Mbona maumbile anangoja tudirishe uwana wetu? Could there be something we need to be or we that we are not? Yeah. Ndiyo. It's a fair question. Now that's why I bring this. I ask you: Are you manifesting the sonship of God? To manifest sonship is to manifest the nature of God. Kudhihirisha uwana ni kudhihirisha asili ya mungu. It is to be God here on earth. Ni kuwa mungu hapa ulimwanguni. Now in the bracket that is overemphasized. Katika mabano ni kutilia mkazo zaidi. It's basically in other words God is saying. Kwa msingi maneno mengine mungu anasema. I'm sending you to represent me there. Ni na kutuka wewe. Uniasi, uniwasilishe ama uniwakilishe pale, nenda pale. Of course, I can't talk about Americans. I want to talk about my own embassy. Sasa, siwezi ongea kuhusu uh, Amerika, lakini naongea kuhusu mimi vile natilia Be- mkazo. Because even the Democratic Republic of Congo has an embassy in DRC. Kwa sababu ata de- de- demokrasia ya Congo pia iko na embassy pale. When you come to my embassy, unapokuja kwa embassy yangu, balozi wangu, when you enter, Unapoingia, the first thing you will see, you won't see the photo of Uru Kenyatta. Pa, jambo la kwanza utakalo ona, hauta yona picha ya You will Uru. see a big picture of U- Felix Chisekeji Chilombo. Hu, hu, utayona picha kubwa ya Felix ambaye ni raisi wa Kongo. That's the first thing you will come into contact with. Hicho ni jambo la kwanza ambato utakutana nalo. When you enter there, you will hear that the language has changed. Sasa unapoingia pale unasikia lugha imebadilika. Unasikia tu boni boni uchu wapi uzo wapi boni then and as I go eh boy until you're like my god something Unashanga. is happening here. Wanaongea vitu elewi na unashangaa uh-huh. hii inatendeka. Because there's a language. Kwa sababu kunayo lugha which we call a common speech. Ambayo inatengeneza lugha moja. And this is why you don't go in matatu everywhere. Ukikutana mtu, you just look at him. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Ndiyo maana uendi kwa matatu na unasema. Because they look at you and say. Watakushanga. 
But don't you find it strange that I meet Christian this day and I go straight to the point to praise the name of Jesus. And you see someone telling you, I'm fine. Yeah. Unaona wakati mwingi wa Kristo wengi ukiwasalimia Bwana asivyo wanakuambia niko poa. Especially the liberal that are out there. Hata wale ambao diwasi uko nje. I'm sorry they could also be seated again. Na sasa nina nina, nina hofu kwamba huenda wakawa hapa pia. But you are the right place. Lakini uko mahala pa sawa. Now listen. Hebu sikiza. So this is why to manifest sonship is to manifest the nature of God is like basically representing God here on earth. Hii ndio maana kudhihirisha uana wa Mungu ni kudhihirisha asili ya Mungu na nikana kwamba Mungu ameketi hapa. Look at this. Hebu angalia hii. The earth and all that is in it is waiting for you and I to reveal God that we carry we carry on the inside from us ndio maana ulimwengu na vyote vilivyomo vinasubiri wewe na mimi tudhihirishe Mungu na kile chote ambacho tunabeba ndani yetu but as i've said this it sound almost the same thing that i said half day sasa ni kama kile ambacho nimesema hapo juu so for you to understand what i've said you have to look at what i've put in the bracket here what they are waiting for us to reveal from the inside kile ambacho wanatusubiri sisi tufunue kutoka ndani is not this stupid miracle si hii vitu vya upuzi muujiza this is just something strange ni kitu ambacho ni cha ajabu ambacho si kawaida what can you give the world that satan cannot give ni kipi ambacho unaweza pea ulimwengu ambacho shetani hawezi wapa God is not in waiting for us to reveal things that Satan can give you. Mungu hangoji atitufunue vitu ambavyo shetani anaweza. I want a child, I want a child. Satan can give a child. Unataka mtoto, unataka mtoto shetani anaweza kena mtoto. What do you want that Satan cannot give? Ni nini ambacho unahitaji ambacho shetani anaweza kukupa? Let me tell you the Bible is saying sonship is not about what the world can give. Wacha niwaambie Biblia inasema uana si kile ambacho It's about what the world cannot keep. Ni kuhusu kile ambacho ulimwengu hauwezi kiana. That's why I say it is a mystery that Satan cannot understand. Ndio nasema ni siri ambayo shetani hawezi kuwa. Upande uchuke. Go up and down. Satan cannot give them to you. Mungu shetani hawezi kukupa wewe. Those are the things the scripture is saying. Hayo ndio mambo ambayo andiko hili linasema. When you start reading Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3 to 4 it says this by wisdom a house is built. Unapoanza kusoma katika mithali 24 3 inasema katika hekima nyumba inajengwa. What is this wisdom that builds the house? Sasa ni hekima ipi hii ambayo inajenga nyumba? Then you go to Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 it says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Unaenda kwa methali pia inasema cha, kumcha Mungu Baba ndio chanzo cha hekima. And that Satan cannot give. It. Na hiyo shetani hawezi peana. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikiza? This is why you can see a stupid man do powerful miracles, but the time he lives there he steals. Sasa ni wakati unaweza ona mtu akifanya miujiza ya nguvu lakini akitoka hapo anaenda kuipa. My God. Mm. Then it says Anasema, by understanding katika ufahamu the house is extant sasa nyumba inatiliwa msingi what is understanding sasa ufahamu ni when you read in first corinthians chapter 2 unaposoma wa korinto wa kwanza sura ya pili a man without the spirit of god can't understand the things of the spirit because they are spiritually kwamba mtu asiye na roho wa Mungu hawezi mambo ya jua mambo ya roho maana yamepambanuliwa rohoni when you start reading from the beginning of that first corinthians chapter 2 unaona shetani boom bafu as you st- unapoanza kusoma katika wa korinto kwanza sura ya pili unamuona shetani akiwa mjinga sana you know it's okay ma'am that's <laughs> unajua kiswahili mm. there are some things mm. they don't sound good in english it's true it's our <laughs> yes So you just say it in so heavy it's okay. Uh. That's fine. <laughs> Now listen to me. It says inasema that if Satan knew kwamba kama shetani yangejua by killing Jesus. Kwamba kwa kumuua Yesu. Eh? <laughs> yani that is everything. Yani hiyo ni kila kitu. Yani if he knew kama angejua you can imagine 
unaweza fikiria shetani yakutana na Yesu anakuja na kumwambia I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> you can imagine the trouble Jesus would have gone through. Hebu fikiria ile shida ambayo shetani angepitia Mungu wangu. My God. Mungu wangu. Hey. Hey. Kibumbafu. That's it. Kijinga. The devil is up. He is the trying to do you know it goes everywhere calling the entire world he said this man must die sasa shetani anaenda kila mahali anaita ulimwengu wote anasema huu mtu lazima afe lazima afe he must die lazima afe jesus is like he's the bomb yesu anacheka anasema huu ni mjinga kabisa arakisha do it quickly my god then verse listen to verse 4 what it says it says true knowledge it rules a field with rare and beautiful treasures sasa inasema katika methali 9:24 mstari wa 4 inasema hivi kwamba kupitia maarifa this is a mystery nyumba inajazwa sasa hii ni siri hii ni siri ni ukweli uliofichika ambao huwezi fahamu this is what the world Hiki ndicho ambacho ulimwangu unangojea. Satan cannot give it. Na hii shetani hawezi peana. The world is not waiting for you to give the miracles that Satan can also give. Sasa ulimwangu hausubiri utoe miujiza ambayo adui anaweza peana. The world is waiting for you to give them something that do not exist. Sasa ulimwangu unasubiri uwape kitu ambacho hakijawahi kuwepo. I have one of a young man. Sasa nina kijana yangu mmoja. So I I I, I preached this young man in the street. Nikamhubiria pale mtaani. In umoja. Pale umoja. I told him kneel down in the street. Nikamwambia piga magoti barabarani. Na mpokee Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yako. So this boy got born again. Huyu kijana akaokoka. God opened a door went to live in Dubai. Sasa huyu jamaa akaenda kuishi Dubai. So one time I visited him. Siku moja nikamtembelea. So there's a group of some little sorcerers. Sasa kuna kikundi kimoja cha watawi. Uh, you will know those sorcerers. Wajua watawi. So they are just <laughs> wako pale wanapita pita <laughs> na madondo yao. Pepo ya ina gani? Sindwe. My God. You know the, the, some, some strange people. Yaani watu wa ajabu. You know they, they just like, They, they come around this young man. Wanakuja wanamzunguka huyu jamaa. So they ask this young man. Wanamuuliza. We, we we've never seen your girlfriend. Hatujawahi kuona mchumba wako. So the young man is like I don't have a girlfriend. Namwambia mimi sina mchumba. Then they go like oh. Is <laughs> it what is the problem? Wanamuuliza shi anauliza shida ni nini? But we've never seen I don't oh you are gay. The man said I am not gay. Shindwe. Wanamwambia wewe. He looked at them. He said, "Why are you saying I am gay?" Kwa nini mnasema mimi ni shoga? So how do you help yourself? Na unajisaidiaga aje? The boy said, "I don't need to help myself." Akasema mimi sistaki kujisaidia. I don't I'm not married. Mimi sijaoa. As for now. Kwa sasa I have stayed. Mimi ninaka ninajiweka kando. Mpaka siku ile nitakaye oa. Then I will have sex. Kwa basi nitapata ngono na mke wangu. Wakasema vipi? And he told her. Na akawaambia. Because of the one that is inside. Kwa sababu ya yule aliye ndani yangu. Then they started asking who is Waka, this? Na wanamuuliza huyu. And he told them Jesus Christ. Wakamwambia Yesu. Christ in me. Christ ndani yangu. The hope of glory. Utumaini la Jesus is for me. Kama Yesu who can be against me? Nani anaweza kuwa tume? No weapon fashion against my life. Shall prosper. He said, I live the way I live. And he told them. They ask him. Do you masturbate? They said no. How do you live this? That is manifestation of sonship. Because that Satan cannot give. Kwa sababu hiyo shetani hawezi peana. Hallelujah. What is the problem with the church? Kuna shida na kanisa. And that mystery we call it character. Sasa hiyo siri tunaiita tabia. Tell your neighbor character. Mwambie mwenzako tabia. Look at 1 John chapter 3. Hebu ona waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya 3 mstari wa 
And verse 8b says this. Na mstari wa nane ba inasema hivi. But when people keep on sinning. Lakini watu wakiendelea kutenda dhambi. Actually the verse is putting in like. There was some expectation for you to sin sometime. Yaani hili andiko ni kama linasema saa zingine unaweza kutenda dhambi. Inasema hivi. But when people keep on. Lakini watu wakiendelea kutenda dhambi. And I will agree with the scripture because the truth is that we were all of us born with a sinful nature. Sasa hii tulizaliwa sote tukiwa na asli ya dhambi. But when people keep on sinning, lakini watu wakiendelea kutenda dhambi, it shows that they belong to the devil. Inadhirisha kwamba hao ni wa shetani. Who has been sinning since what? The beginning. Aliyekuwa akitenda dhambi tangia mwanzo. Since the beginning. Tangu mwanzo. But the son of God came Lakini mwana wa Mungu alikuja to destroy the works of the devil. Kuziharibu kazi za shetani. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikiza? So if you continue on sinning, kama utaendelea kutenda dhambi, I just you belong to the devil. Sasa inasemekana wewe ni wa shetani. And there is no way you can live here and go back to him. Na hakuna vile unaweza toka hapa na umrejelee. You must divorce him. Lazima umtariki leo. Now listen to this. Hebu sikiza hii. Now read for us back to Romans chapter 8 verse 15 to 17. Warumi 10 Warumi 8 15 hadi 17. Okay, it says for the spirit which you have now received mm-hmm. is not a spirit of slavery mm-hmm. to put you once more in bondage to fear mm-hmm. but you have received the spirit of adoption the spirit producing sonship in the bliss of which we cry abba father father, father. are you listening mm. now i'll take it slowly if i can ebu iso me pole pole no it's okay that's fine thank mm-hmm. you Verse 15 says this. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear. Maana hamkupokea roho ambaye anawafanya watumwa tena ili muogope. But you received that past tense. Lakini mlipokea hiyo ni kitu kilichopita. The spirit of sonship. Roho wa uana. When you compare this to spirit, this is man's spirit which basically it is the fallen nature. Sasa unapolinganisha hizi maneno mawili roho hii ya juu inamaanisha roho wa mwanadamu ambaye ameanguka. But this one is the spirit which is gift. Lakini huyu mwingine ni roho ambaye ni kipawa. But look at this. Hebu angalia hii. This is my story. Hii ni hadithi yangu. It took one word from a short man in authority to transform me and made me a renewed ilichukua neno ilichukua neno moja la mtu mfupi katika mamlaka kunibadilisha mimi na kufanya upya nia yangu nimeanza kufundisha sasa je mko tayari huyu mtu akatembea mlangoni alikuwa anaita watu wenjo hapa wenjo hapa I did not wait for him to call me. I walked alone. I went there because I knew he was coming. Si kungoja ni nilitembea maana nilijua anakuja. I knew he was coming. Nilijua atakuja. I knew this man was coming. Nilijua huyu mtu anakuja. He looked at me like a short man like this a Nigerian man. Akaniangalia na ni mfupi hivi mnaijeria. He looked at me like this. Akanitazama hivi. He said young man what is your problem? Akaniuliza kijana shida yako ni nini? I went straight to the police sir I must be nikamwambia huwa napata nafanya ngono katika ulimwengu wa rohoni nikiwa nimelala masturbation you know why i ask that uh. because i don't know when i will say fornication what is it in <laughs> usinzi usinzi yeah i'm lying yeah. amen <laughs> amen yeah. now listen Ebu skiza. so he looked at me like this akanitazama hivi He said you must have bed Akaniambia huwa unafanya ngono katika He said from today Kuanzia leo From today Kuanzia leo Uko huru 
I looked at him. I was waiting for an hour. I was waiting for the Spirit of God to bring me down. He looked at me. He said, because you are no longer slave. Because slaves do not talk. When you see a slave talking, you better know he's no longer slave. Amen. The day you see your maid looks, your maid looks you in the eyes like this. I'm open to telling you. <laughs> Why? Because the day you see your maid, you <laughs> will see your maid. Yes. He looked at me and said, you are no longer slave. Because slaves do Kwa talk. This is why Christians are still slaves. It is so strange, my man. Yani ni ajabu sana. That I could see preachers these days. Close your eyes. Funga macho. The Lord knows you where you are. Mungu Don't even lift your hands. Hata People, when you see that, Rebuke it in Jesus' name. Rebuke it in Jesus' name. Listen to me. It's a mindset. When you start reading Acts chapter 19, it says they came out publicly, publicly with their scrolls of witchcraft and things and they stood in the public. It was not done to them like that to shame them. It was a statement to the enemy. Because the first thing the enemy thinks about you is that unafikiru unenza toka usimi when you're homosexual. Yeah, una... It's a mindset. That's the first thing the enemy does. He locks you. Hiyo ndiyo kitu chakwanza adu yufanya anakufunga. Yes. And you remain a slave. Na unapaki kuwa mtumwa. And you see people standing on the other. Na unaona watu wamesimama hapo na unyenyekevu. Wanaungia na... Which one? The devil look at you and say, look at these stupid people. Even who goes to walk. Because he knows nothing will happen. My bishop looked at me at that day and said, oh my God, my music director. Yes, I came out. I said, I must have it, sir. He said, from today, you are no longer a slave. And this is how God delivered. Are you listening to me? For slaves do not talk. Look at verse 17 what it says. And now if we are children, then we are heirs. Heirs of God. And co-heirs we cry. Now let me show you something. Listen to me, listen to me. Galatians chapter 4, please. That's the verse. From verse 1. Now, what I mean is that as long as the inheritor or heir is a child and under age, he does not differ from a slave. Mm -hmm. Although he is the master of all the estate. Yes. But he is under guardians and administrators or trustees mm -hmm. until the date fixed by his father. Yes. So we, Jewish Christians, also, when we were minors, were kept like slaves under the rules of the Hebrew ritual and subject to elementary teachings of a system of external observations and regulations. No, just stop it there. Thank you. Listen what verse says. If we are children, then we are heirs. Mustari wa kumina saba inasema kama sisi ni wana pia ni warithi. And heirs of God. Na warithi wa mungu. And co-heirs with Christ. Na warithi pomoja na Christo. This does not nullify this. Sasa hii hai kanushi hiyo ingine. It's just basically giving us order. Sasa inatupa mpangilio. Because God blesses order, not disorder. Maana mungu wanapaka na kuhebariki mpangilio. So Jesus comes first. Yesu wanakuja kwanza. And we follow him. 
Now listen to me. Hebu nisikize. When when Abraham sacrificed Isaac, wakati Ibrahim alienda kumtoa dhabihu Isaac, what we do not understand that what Abraham left us, he left us that when we became born again Christian automatically we became also sons of the promise. Sasa Abraham aliacha kwamba tukishazaliwa mara ya pili tunafanyika wana wa ahadi. And this is why we stand today even we can claim to say so we are coheirs with Christ na ndio maana inatupa wajibu wa kusema sisi ni warithi pamoja na Kristo now what that is said in galatians chapter 1 sasa ile andiko amesoma katika wa galatia sura ya 4 wa galatia sura ya 4 especially verse 1 mstari wa kwanza it does nothing to do with your age sasa haina chochote kuhusu umri the age is just typology sasa umri ni mfano tu But that's the truth. Na huo ni ukweli. The age is just typology. Sasa umri ni mfano tu. To make you who is living in this world at least to comprehend. Sasa ikufanye wewe unaoishi ulimwenguni huu upate ufahamu. As long as the hair is still a child. Sasa mradi mridhi ni mtoto. Because I could see many of you seated here and are happy. I said I want at least me I'm 30, I'm 40. Oh. Nimeona wengine wenu mmekaa hapo mnasema mimi niko na 30. Let me tell you. Hebu nikwambie. Regardless your age physical age bracket. Kando na sasa umri wako wa asili. You can be in your 20s. Unaweza kuwa katika miaka 20s. Unaweza kuwa katika 30s. You can be in your 40s. Hata uwe katika 40s. You can be in your 60s. Hata 60s. 70s. 70s. 80s. 90s. 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 But emotionally an infant. Ah, lakini kihisia wewe ni mtoto. Bumbafu la hujaiona. Mjinga asiyejulikana. I'm I'm openly telling you. Eh, kweli. I have met 70 people with white hair stupid to death. Nishawaipatana na watu wanamvi na miaka 70 wajinga kabisa. My god, you have no idea. Mungu wangu amuelewi. You will wait. Wewe utangoja. You will enter it. Utafika damanini. You will fulfill nothing. Utatimiliza because you are still a child. Hautatimiliza chochote maana wewe ni mtoto. Kila kitu kukuhusu. That was kept to be given to you. Kile kilichowekwa kupewa wewe. Hautawahi pokea. You will wonder. Utashangaa. You will ask questions. Utauliza maswali. You will become jealous. Utakuwa na uivu. Una uchungu. You will look at others. Utatazama wengine. things in this world. Wakifanya mambo ulimwenguni. Unauliza. What did I do to you God? Ni nini Mungu nilikufanyia? And let me tell you. Na wacha nikwambie. I'm about to tell you something. Niko karibu kukwambia kitu. God does not give answers. Mungu hapeani jawabu. To any explanation. Kwa kila ma- maelezo. He does not give any answers. Hapeani jawabu. Because God does not answer. Maana Mungu huwa hajibu Questions. maswali. He will bring you his promises. Atakuletea ahadi zake. And put them right there. Na aziweke hapo. Anasema wewe. Mm get unlocked here. Oh, um, hapa hapa kuna shida. Mm. You can be somebody. Unaweza kuwa mtu. This is why. Na ndio sababu. My father was a government minister. Baba yangu alikuwa waziri katika serikali. My father was rich. Baba yangu alikuwa tajiri. My mom was rich. Mama yangu alikuwa tajiri. There was a time we had 17 vehicles in our compound. Kuna wakati tulikuwa na magari 17. I used to go to school with a bodyguard. Nilikuwa naenda shuleni nikiwa na askari mlinzi. And when we are passing everybody knows that's the son of Victor Mpiana Mukumba, the minister. Sasa nilipokuwa napita kila mtu alijua huyo ni mwana wa waziri. But there were days. Lakini kuna siku. And we are coming back from school. Na tunarejea toka shuleni. We are being driven in Mercedes. Na tunaendeshwa na Mercedes. When you reach your compound. Sasa wakati ambapo we ni tajiri unafungiwa. You reach your compound, compound. Tulipofika kwa nyumba. And you'll find your house people surrounding your house. Na unapata watu wanazingira nyumba wenu. Na watu wako juu ya ya ukuta. Na unasikia tu wanapiga kelele he. And then we will come out walk inside and find my dad in a kitenge. Una tumbo huko kitenge is fighting with my mom. Unapata nikapata baba yangu amejifunga kitenge anapigana na mamangu. The next day you don't want even to identify with them. Sasa siku inayofuatia hutaki hata kujitambulisha nao. I remember those day my father was around 60. 
Na ninakumbuka nyakati hizo babangu alikuwa miaka 60. Stupid. Mjinga. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikiza? Stupid. Mjinga. Because there was nothing here. Kwa sababu hakukuwa na chochote hapa. Listen to me. Hebu nisikize. Many Christians have a locked mind. Locked wa Kristo wengi wako na mawazo ambayo yamefungwa. Asi, as God love me. Je, <laughs> Mungu ananipenda? <laughs> you know it's just that because you are a pastor you remain composed but inside you are saying, "Huni mjinga." <laughs> Wewe ni mchungaji unakaa hapa umejikausha tu lakini ndani wewe ni mjinga. What do I do? Ninyorosha manifanya. I have to give an answer such a question. Yaani wewe unauliza hiyo maswali. God love me. Mungu ananipenda je? Strange. Of course God loves you. Kwa kweli Mungu anakupenda. Maybe the question you need to ask. Pengine swali unalopaswa kuuliza. Does he trust you? Je, anakuamini? There's a difference between love and trust. Sasa kuna tofauti kati ya kuamini, kupenda na kuamini. Oh, I love all of you but I can trust all of you. <laughs> Nawapenda nyote lakini siwezi waamini nyote. I love my son David but I can trust him with my chuka. Sasa uh, nampenda oh mtoto wangu lakini siwezi mpatia kifungu cha gari langu. Ya pastor sit here, sit here. I'm sorry, I can't trust you my God. Sasa kuna wachungaji wameketi hapa. Samahani siwezi waaminia gari langu. Does it mean I don't love you? Je, inamaanisha siwapendi? Just that I can't trust you my God. Ni kwamba siwezi waamini. Yeah, because when I see you drive mediocrity, mediocrity. When I see you drive, it's just pure mediocrity. Sasa wakati nina Yeah, I can't trust you my God. Ninapoona mkiendesha yani siwezi waamini. Oh, let me tell you it's insult. Sasa wacha niwaambie si matusi. You've got something to tell me too. Una kitu pia cha kuniambia mimi. It's just that I'm privileged I'm standing here to tell you what I have seen. Sasa nimefulsika kupata nafasi ya kusimama hapa kuambia kitu. I hate mediocrity brother. Ninachukia watu wa kupenda ukawaida. Sasa if I see your car then I go round I count 30 scratch. Nikiona gari scratches. Yaani nikiona gari lako nizunguke nione limegwaruza mara 30. Then I give you mine. Siwezi kukupa yangu. I can't give it to you. Siwezi I'm kukupa. sorry, I love you, but my car, I will not give it. Samahani na kupenda lakini gari langu siwezi kukupa. This is how people are here on earth. This is how Christian will meet God and they ask question. God is like, look, look at all this. It was just waiting for you to manifest worship. Hivi ndivyo tunavyomzuilia Mungu tukiwa hapa ulimwenguni na tunaambiwa na Mungu hebu angalia hii. Hii ni yako. Ilikuwa inangoja ukomae. Yaani tumekuwa na kutokomaa kwingi. Oh my God. Mungu wangu. May God unlock you. Hebu Bwana atufungue. I'm seeing like we live here at 4am. Naona ni kama tutatoka hapa saa 10. My God. Mungu wangu. Thank God for, for, for the preachers that came here and say eternity and time belongs to God. Shukuru Mungu kwa mupi aliyekuja hapa akasema ni God I feel like, like oh Jesus I am delivered. Nimekombolewa. My God. Mungu wangu. Ah pasta. Ah pasta. Mchungaji. Eh, eh, so it's not me. You know apostle Waka say we are vessels. Simple as vessel. It's not me speaking, Pastor. Don't, don't be mad. At me. We are just vessels. God has to use someone to give you an answer. Sisi ni viombo mungu lazima atumie mtu wakupe ujumbe wake. Hey, Pastor. Mchungaji. Good preachers don't finish their sermon. Sasa waubidi wazuri huwa hawaminishi, hawamalizi ujumbe wao. That's why Paul preached until someone died. Ndiyo maana Paul aliubiri mpaka mtu wakupa. Usiku wa manani. You know, fix are just coming. Ven is just speaking. 
and I'm getting loaded Bingu and loaded and loaded. Oh God. Hamungu. God loves you. Can he trust you? Mungu anakupenda. Je, anaweza kukuamini? Trust goes beyond love. Sasa kuamini kuna kunaenda zaidi ya upendo. That's why your father will look at you he loves you but there are things he can't trust you. Sasa ndio maana babako atakuangalia anakupenda lakini kuna vitu hawezi kukuaminia. And because you are still immature now you will cry you become bitter you have attitude you don't want to come to church you don't want to do this <laughs> it's not working you change churches you go to the other one you go to the other one. we are just looking at you we are pitying you. Na kwa sababu haujakoma ndio maana unakasirika unabadilisha kanisa hutaki kusalimia watu unakuwa na na, na, no na makoro na maroho hiyo vitu hiyo. Reverend Kabiti, he used to be anointed. He has no anointed. He, no, <laughs> it's just that he taught you so much and he is reached a place to say, Lord, Tasa. unlock. Uh. Unlock them. Yani unafika mahali unasema askofu Kabiti alikuwa na upako siku hizi hana. Sasa imefika mahali mpaka lazima Mungu akufungue mawazo. This is the start. Haya ni mafunzo. Slavery is not lack of gifting. It is a state of mediocrity. U, yani utumwa si kukosa kipawa lakini ni hali ya kukaa kutojielewa na ukawaida. That's why we see some <laughs> It's hard to pass. If this is how God wanted it to be, <laughs> it's our. I have accepted. <laughs> yani kama hivi ndivyo Mungu alitaka niwe a mimi nimekubali tu nitakaa hivyo. Hapana, hiyo ni pepo lazima tutoe. Ishindwe kabisa. Ah, acha nikwambie. Hiyo ni pepo. We, we must demon. deliver you. Lazima tukukomboe. Oh, let me tell you. This is what it is. Have you ever met people who come and say I have tried. Nimeshindwa. <laughs> They insulting Jesus right like this in their eyes. Wale. Ama mwana Yesu lakini wanasema wameshindwa. I asked another young man who came in my way. I said, "Young, come, come here." Nikaita kijana nikamwambia njoo. Umeshindwa? Mhm. Sit down. Kaa chini. Tell me umeshindwa na nini? Mhm. What did you know what I've done? Unajua nimefanya nini? I'm waiting to hear what you've done. Nangoja kusikia kile umefanya. I feel much better. But see, you know I still Una... <laughs> What else? Ni naiba. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ni nyingine. Uh, what else do you do? Ni nyingine unafanya? But see When I was in school I, I tried even some homosexuality. Unajua hata wakati nilikuwa shule nijaribu vitu zingine. What else? Ni nyingine. I think that's it. Nafikiri nafikiri ni hayo tu. Okay young man, take a pen. Chukua kalamu. You will see the difference. Utaona tofauti. That you kuwa wewe you are just possessed. Wewe una mapepo. Some of us Wengine wetu wa demons. Sisi ni mapepo. <laughs> Tulikuwa mapepo. Okay, I tell the young man start writing. Start writing. Write. Write, write down. Let, tell me what you've done. Mumele, mumelewa amesema nini? Kwamba yeye ana mapepo. Yeah. Wengine wetu tulikuwa mapepo. I asked this young man. Nikamuuliza huyu kijana. Have you ever entered in a house of a wizard? Je, ushawaingia nyumba ya ya ya, ya mganga? And you are cut. Na umekatwa umechanjwa. Una chanjo hapa. Cut here. Na hapa pia. And put powder of gorilla. A, no, a, a bone of gorilla put inside your body. Sasa ukawekwa mfupo wa gorilla ndani yako. Young, I asked this young man. Nikamuuliza huu kijana. Have you ever done witchcraft to a lady? Because you tuned her and she said no and you bewitched her and she could see a menstrual period for three months jesus ushawahi mroga msichana kwa sababu amekukataa na akapata hedhi yake miezi mitatu mfululizo now tell me what you've done niambie umefanya nini then i asked this young man nikamuuliza huyu kijana have you ever done abortion Je, ushawahi ushawahi have you ever I forgot pastor yes I've done how many times Akaniambia pia nishawifanya hiyo nimesahau mara ngapi Once Mara moja I said young man Nikamwambia kijana I did abortion Mimi niliavya mimba Not five times Si mara tano Not 10 times Si mara kumi. Not 15 times Si mara 15 Over 20 times Zaidi ya mara 20 When you look at me Unaponitazama Do I look like someone anababaika 
when I ask him, when you look at me, do, do I look like I fear the devil? Do I look like I fear the devil? Do I fear the devil? Do I look like 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 I fear the devil? Do I look You love what you do. Unapenda unachokifanya. You love what you do. Unapenda unachokifanya. Stop insulting Jesus. Hacha kumtusi Yesu. Unajua wanaume Yesu wamebadilisha. Do you know how many men Jesus has changed? There's some conference I always do around July. Huwa kuna mikutano huwa. Huwa na mikutano nafanya isili pale mwezi wa 6. They bring over 500 churches together. Huwa wanaleta makanisa zaidi ya 500. And then this entire place Sasa mahala hapo pote from here to the end toka hapa mpaka mwisho it's only pastors seated ni wachungaji pekee wa meketi and on the other side you have to see the people that are coming in na sasa upande ule mwingine lazima uangalie wale ambao wamekuja when this pastor stands wakati huyu mchungaji anasimama and he open his jacket like this and he shows you his back na afungue koti lake na kuonyeshe mgongo. Tunaangalia mahala ambapo risasi zimeenda ndani ya maisha yao. Then anakuambia hivi anakuambia kijana acha kuchezea Yesu. And he tells you, you stop talking Jesus with Jesus. People he has delivered. Je, unajua Yesu ni wangapi amekomboa? You love what you do. Unapenda unachokifanya? Stop insulting Jesus. Wacha kumtusi Yesu. Slavery is not a lack of gifting but it is a state of mediocrity. Sasa utumwa si kukosa hali ya kukosa vipawa lakini ni hali ya kupenda kukaa katika mazoea. Slavery is mediocrity is an altar. Ni madhabahu utumwa ni madhabahu. Slavery mediocrity is a gift and a talent. Sasa hicho ni kipawa na pia ni taaluma ama ni kitu ulicho nacho. Of course from the devil. Na kwa kweli ni kutoka kwa shetani. Not from God. Kwa sababu haiwezi toka kwa Mungu. Now look at the difference. Hebu angalia tofauti. Slavery. Utumwa. Mediocrity. Uzoefu wa ukawaida. Which is an altar. Ambayo ni madhabahu. Is not failure. Sio kushindwa. Amen. But a state of being because it's an altar. Lakini ni hali ya kuwa kwa sababu ni madhabahu. Notice this. Hebu angalia hii. Failure is an effort lack success Sasa kutofaulu ni hali ambayo inakosa kufaulu This person who's failing Huyu mtu ambaye anashindwa is trying while failing to do or to become better Anajaribu lakini anaanguka kujaribu kukua bora That's why in every spheres of leadership we fail Ndio maana katika maeneo yote ya uongozi tunaanguka Well while we fail we always say that failure is the product of success sasa tunapoanguka tunasema kuanguka ni matokeo ya kufaulu. Ndio maana ukianguka leo unaweza jaribu kesho. Lakini kuzoea kukaa hapo ni madhabahu. Mtu ambaye ana uzoefu na amekaa hapo anatoa mindset. Sasa njia moja njia ya kuwabadilisha aina hao ni kungoa mizizi ndani ya mawazo. Ni kubomoa hayo madhabahu and plant something new. Na upande kitu kingine kipya. If you don't do that, na usipofanya hivyo, you won't help that person. Hautamsaidia huyo mtu. While slavery which is mediocrity is a quality or a skill of being average or ordinary. This is the dictionary form. Sasa hii ndiyo inasema katika kamusi kwamba kuwa katika utumwa ni hali ya kuwa katika kawaida. So it is a talent. Ni kipawa. There are people who have a talent of just being mediocre. Yaani kuna watu wana kipawa cha kukua tu kawaida. Ah mimi you can do work with me. Huwezi tembea na mimi. Oh let me tell you I'll rebuke to death. Nitakukemea. I will tell you if I have a problem let's go for a retreat. Mm. Kama Just the two of us. Mm. Until that thing is uprooted. Simbaka hicho kitu kingolewe. Have you ever seen those people? Je, ushawaiona hao watu? Do you see the person who has put this thing? You see the way it's put? Je, umeona huyu mtu ameweka hizi vitu hapa unaona ameweka vipi? Have you ever noticed there are some people who comes They just do this. <laughs> <laughs> And they walk away. And they walk away. And do you look at them? You're waiting for them to do something. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? 
It is not ringing. This is how in Africa we live. Now let me show you something we do. Your boss, of, of course, he walks out of the, the office. And he says, uh, Pastor, allow me to use your name. That's the name. John. Johanna. I need a full report. Ninataka report of kamili. this file. Ya file hii. In the next two hours. Ambao nimefunga. And if it is not there? Na kama haipo? Sign your resignation. Sasa uandike barua yako ya kustaafu. Then it is 1 a.m. Sorry, Sa sorry, 1 p.m. Sasa ni saa saba mchana. Si papi come out of his office. Anatoka office. Oh, John. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no, no. Let's go for lunch. Let's go for lunch. Let's go for lunch. And they twende, go. Twende mamkuli ya mchana. But you come in Africa. Sasa, John, I'm giving you two hours. I want to see this thing. Sasa mnarudi, anakuambia nimekupa masama mawili, nataka kuona hiyo. Then you come at one. Sasa unakuja saa saba. Can you go for lunch? Mnaenda chakula cha mchana. Niko poa. You went the way. Mm. You wonder what is so wrong with this guy. Unashanga nini mbaya na huyu mtu? We don't know how to separate work and relationship. We don't know what because the mind is mediocre. Hataki kutenganisha kazi na urafiki kwa sababu mawazo ya mtu ya ni ya ukawaida. We walk in church, we are doing everything, friendship, ubumbafu, and all this, if something goes wrong, I should not ask you. But it's even better I gossip you. Mm, sasa, tunaona mambo ikifanyika kanisani. It's kanisa mediocrity. Na how to live. Everything is here. Kitu bora ni kusengenyana mawazo ya kanasika. I have people who have left leadership like that because I hate you. Kuna watu waliacha uongozi maana niliwakemea. Then none of us sit here mm. that worked with you. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza. I want that the Jesus deliver all teachers. Sasa tunataka kumuona Yesu ambaye anahubiri. No, I want that the, the, the Jesus that deliver all teachers. Oh, namshangaa yule Yesu ambaye wale ambao hawajui wanafundisha. In John chapter 6 Katika Yohana sura ya sita. No, Master, please. These people, they need to go with it. It is, it is getting darker. They need to go. Jesus is saying, they go where? Yo, ye, watu wana muambia Yesu wa watu wana wa wa wenda kufu, wakusanye. You give them food. Wape chakula. Okay, Jesus, there's a boy here, two fishes, five loaves. Kuna kijana hapa. Okay, miracles, wa give them food. Mujiza, wape chakula. Everybody was there in family, in groups. Watu wako pale kwa vikundi jamii wakikula. Ah, manabi. Alisa promise. Uyu. Amesimama tu. He's watching at them. Kesema. Then that that was the for the flesh. Sasa hiyo ilikuwa ya mwili. But that is not what I came to do. Sasa si hicho naenda kufanya. What Jesus came to do? Kile ambacho Yesu alikuja kufanya is to deliver the soul. Ni kukomboa nafsi. So there is nothing that has to deliver the soul that can make comfortable. Hakuna kitu ambacho kinaweza komboa nafsi ambacho kinakufanya usikie vizuri. So he went straight to the point. Anaenda kabisa na anawambia. You're following me because of the food that I have. Muna nifuata kwa sababu ya mikate niliyo wapa jana. He just went like this. Waka shanga. Hey! Hey! Amali waka kijana ka Josepha. Ah, wee chunga, wee chunga. You need to be like your father. Your father was not talking like this. Wapasu wa kumana, wapasu wa kumana na baba yako selemala. Do you know why he touched the heart? Unajua kwa nini? You are following me because of the food that I gave you. Mna nifuata juu ya chakula nilicho wapa. The Bible says they left. Bibilia inasema wakaondoka wote. Psychologically speaking. Kwa kihisia. At the back of every minister. Katika nyuma ya kila mhudumu. Ninaongea kuhusu mhuduma wa kanisa. When you lose over 10,000 people. Unapopoteza watu zaidi ya 1,000. With one sermon. Katika ujumba moja. I don't believe you dare preach the same message the next time. Siamini utahubiri huo ujumbe siku inayofuatia. He turned to the 70. Akatazama wale 70. You too. Hata ninyi pia. You shall drink of my blood. Mtakunywa wa damu yangu. And eat of my flesh. Na mule mwili wangu. Kama ni cannibal. Wakasema wewe ni mla watu. You know what they say? Wali, You're teaching. 
Mafundisho ya is too hard. Ni ngumu sana. They left. Wakaondoka. Man, I can forbear. Mm. Man, you are only 12. You are only having 12. Sasa uko na 10 na wawili ndio wamebaki. Most likely utawabembeleza. Eh. Huwapake mafuta. He turned to the 12. Akawageukia 10 na wawili. What are you waiting for? Ninyi mnangoja nini? To whom else should we go? Who else has the word of God? Are you listening to me, child of God? There are things, you know, let me tell you. Until you walk away from this level and mediocrity. Mpaka utoke katika ukawaida na utumwa. Slavery mediocrity does not see. It does not know what it has. It envies what others have without knowing they envy what it has. Sasa huwa inatamani kile ambacho wengine wako nacho lakini haijui kile ambacho wako nacho. Because there is mediocrity here. Sasa huwa ukawaida. Can I show you a story? These are the Egyptians. Hao ni wa Misri. Are you seeing? Je, unaona? They are coming with their child. Wana, wana na yao. Then they are coming. Na wana kuja, then they meet the fire. Wana the pillar of. Wana kutana na ukuta wa moto. Then they are like. <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? We can't. <laughs> but all these people on this side. How watu wote wako upande hu. They can't see that all this group is fearing this fire. But How? them, they are fearing these people. <laughs> strange! Strange, brother! <laughs> Something is wrong here. Wala watu wanaogopa moto, nao wanawaogopa. Yani kuna kitu kasoro hapa. What do you think? Huh? There's something strange. Kuna That's kitu ambacho si kawaida. Those are the Christians every day. How do you Christ or Julio now? God is there with you. Mungu yuko pale na wewe. You can see him. How muoni? Your enemy is seeing your God. Adui yako anaona you, you Mungu wako. You are seeing your enemy. Wewe unaona adui yako. Strange. Yeah? Ni ajabu. Wow. This is not. Slavery does not see. Utumwa huwa hauoni, haijui. What it has. Kile walicho nacho. It envies what others have without knowing that they envy you know, they help you what you are. Sasa, huwa wanatamani kile ambacho wengine wakonato na hawajui ya duya natamani kile ulicho. Now listen to me. Ebu nisikizi. The unlocking of the chain is not the freedom of the mind. Sasa, kufungua kwa minyororo siyo uhuru wa mawazo. This is what even the people of the world did to us. Hiki nditu ambacho watu wa ulimwangu walitufanyia. A white man said, oh, what do they want? Independence? Unini, wa, wa, yule mzungu ah, wakasema remove chain, remove chain. wanataka nini remove chain. ondoa minyororo hiyo ndio hapa tumefunga mm. that's what they did hivyo ndivyo walivyo you can remove chain unaweza fungua but minyororo but if you don't deliver here you've not done anything my god mm. that's why you see you still have a 30 years man seated here he's not married unaweza ona mtu ana miaka extremely late extremely late you should be having four children. Four. Kama uko na miaka 30 na watoto wanne. Oh, that's the truth. Huo ndio ukweli. That's the truth. Huo ndio ukweli. Everything's here. Kila kitu kiko kwa mawazo. Hapa. You wait for 500,000 in your account to marry. Wait. <laughs> Keep waiting. Unga, unangoja, it's not going to come. Unangoja, it's not coming. Unangoja, By the way, it's not coming. Unangoja, oh, let me tell you. It's, it is not. Kwanza God will make sure that it's not coming. <laughs> unangoja, nusu milioni kwa it is not boy. coming. Haikuti, kwanza, and you will not marry. Utawai, wa mungu anakaza, ay, 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 ay. You will become bitter. <laughs> he loves others. He doesn't love me. He's gone. He does not change God. Jesus said, yes, you, you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. This is the truth that shall set you free. You get to know the truth. You decide on the truth. Because truth is progressive. 
Kwa sababu kweli unasonga. Revelation is progressive. Ufunuo unasonga. The more you truth. Jinsi unavyozidi kutoa. The more you mature. Unazidi kukoma. The free you get. The free you become. Unakuwa huru. As long as you don't get the truth. Kama haupati ukweli. You will become free. Huwezi kuwa huru. The most something. You know the more rare something is the value goes high. Jinsi ambavyo kitu hakipo ndivyo nini dhamana yake inaenda juu. That is the value of sanction. Sasa hiyo ndiyo udhamana wa uana. Sanship is not in, every, in everyone. Sasa uana haumo ndani ya kila mtu. Because everybody will go around and say sanship, sanship. Kila mtu atazunguka akisema uana uana kila mahali. There is a, 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 a there is a sinner who said lies came took the leaf and entered and people clapped but the truth came took the the, the stairs. Sa- it took too long. <laughs> By the time the truth walked in everybody knew <laughs> this is the truth. Sasa wakati kuna mwenye dhambi alisema kwamba uongo ulikuja ukapitia njia ya mkato ambayo ni lift lakini wakati ukweli uliingia ulipitia ngazi na ilichukua muda mrefu sana ukweli kuja na ulipofika kila mtu akajua ni ukweli Sunship is not just saying it Sasa uana Everybody please open up your mouth and say sunship Kila mtu fungua kingo That is not what sunship is That is not what it is That is not what it is You've been pronouncing it You've been saying it. I have met people outside there. Kunimekutana na watu hapo. Hata wanaki stua sanchi. Na said that is not sanchi, bro. Hiyo sio uana ndugu. Oh. You can change even the position of doing it. That is not sanchi. Kana useme na sio hiyo. Aha. My car. By wisdom. Kwa hekima. A house is built. Nyumba inajengwa. And that wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Sasa hekima hiyo ni kumcha bwana. What is the fear of the Lord? Sasa kumhofu bwana ni nini? Let me tell you go and find that fear today. Hebu enda utafute hiyo kumcha bwana. It is what has brought mediocrity in us. Hiyo ndio imeondoa ukawaida ndani yetu. It is what has made many people mediocre. Hiyo ndio imefanya watu wengi wawe na ukawaida. If God knew. Kama Mungu angejua. That aura. Aura, aura. Aura, aura. Do you have to call it? Eh, uh, fear. Aura. Oh, horror. No, aura is not fear. Aura. Vitu vya kuogofia. Is an attribute of fear. Kwamba ni njia moja ya kudhihirisha uoga. So, aura. What is aura? Ni kama kushtuka, yani Yes. Ya kuogo. Yes, kama hiyo. Are you listening to me? Hiyo kitu ya kuogopa. Kuogofia, yani na kushtua. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikiza? The liberal have taught you that aura is not part of God. Sasa watu wametufunza kwamba ama kawaida imetufunza kwamba kushtuka ama kuogopa ama kuhofu sio atri, hali ya Mungu. Lies. Ni uongo. Lies. Ni uongo. There is no way wisdom can step in you if you don't have the aura of God. Hakuna jinsi ambavyo hekima itaingia ndani mwako hama hauna hofu ya Mungu. This is why we have so much familiarity. Hiyo ndiyo maana tumekuwa na mazoea mengi. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikiza? Kuna mtu anafika tu kabiti huko po. Boom bath. Kosa adabu. Listen to me. Hebu sikiza, sikiza. Listen to me. Hebu sikiza. Kutana na mimi. I meet people look at me na Papi uko poa na kuangalia watu hivi sasa wewe ni bumba afu sana grow in grow koma oh listen to me you think skizu. that's pride je unafikiri hicho ni kiburi hiyo sio kiburi that's not pride hiyo sio kiburi that is why when you read that scripture it says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Ndio sababu unasoma hilo andiko inasema kwamba kumcha Mungu Baba ndio chanzo cha hekima. In the word fear. Katika neno hofu. Aura. Kuna kuogo. Reverence. Kutetemeka. Are you listening to me? Ndio hiyo. There is reverence, there is respect. Kuna kuheshimu na kuna Are you listening to me? Unanisikiza. All those it's a package. Sasa hizo zote ni kifurushi. God wanted the Israelite to come and witness when he's coming down. Mungu alitaka wa Israeli waje washuhudie akishuka chini toka kwa mlima. They didn't see God. Hawakumuona Mungu. When they came. Walipokuja. They saw first darkness. Waka, wakaona kwanza darkness. Giza. If it was you you'll say any people. 
You know, the people don't identify God with darkness. People think that God does not exist in hell. Hey. 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 God is everywhere. This is why I cannot comprehend when I read Psalms 18. That is not David. That's why the Bible said these things are inspired. Please open Psalms 18. Let me show you something. Zaburi kumina nane, ebu tuone kitu. Now, Pastor, here now you have to act. Sasa hapo lazima ufanye jambo. You were told the word acting, it means hypocrisy. Yes. Sasa unajua kuigiza, inamanisha unafiki. Actually, what you do not understand, kile ambacho uwelewi. This is why you need to be extremely, if you, 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 you are a Christian medical doctor, Kama wewe ni daktari ambaye ni mkristu. That's why you need to be deep in the things of God. Ndiyo mana wapaso wakua ndani katika mambo ya mungu. Because when you become a doctor, you take what we call the hypocritical oath. Ndiyo mana unapofanyika daktari, unajukua. Oh, you think it's a joke? Unaapa kiapo cha unafiki. You've never asked the sign about the medical? Haujai uliza kuhusu ile ishara ya udaktari. People just do things for the sake of doing. Watu hufanya tu vitu kwa sababu ya kufanya. My, 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 my. The hypocritical oath. Yani ile. It means acting. Inamanisha fanya. I love you fervently and mm. devotedly. Mm -hmm. O oh Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my king. And my firm strength, whom I will trust and take refuge, my shield mm -hmm. and the horn of my salvation, Continue. my high tower. Mm -hmm. I will call upon the Lord, mm. who is to be praised. Mm. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Mm -hmm. Now listen. Drama in answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cords or bands of death surrounded me. Surrounded mm. me. And the streams of ungodliness and the torrents of ruin terrified me. Mm -hmm. The cords of Sheol, the place of the dead, surrounded me. Mm -hmm. The snares of death confronted and came upon me. Mm -hmm. In my distress, when seemingly closed in, I called upon the Lord yes. and cried to my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, heavenly dwelling place. And my cry came before him mm -hmm. into his very ears. Mm -hmm. Then the earth quaked. Then the earth did what? Mm -hmm. Quaked. Mm -hmm. And rocked. The foundations also of the mountains trembled. Trembled. Mm -hmm. They moved and were shaken mm -hmm. because he was indignant and angry. Mm -hmm. There went up smoke from his nostrils. Uh -huh. Actually, other scriptures, other versions says black smoke mm -hmm. rose Ta from his nostrils. When you see that, what are you seeing? Aura. <laughs> Aura. Mm -hmm. Aura. Mm -hmm. Listen, just stop it. Because of time, thank you, Pastor. This is what the liberal are removing from us. Sasa hiki ndicho ambao hawaamini wanaondoa kutoka kwetu. The Bible says there was this young man called John the Apostle in the Bible who used to lay on Jesus chair. Sasa kuna huyu jamaa ambaye alikuwa mtume alikuwa analalia kifua cha Yesu. Acha kutane na Yesu in his glory. The Bible says I went on his feet as though dead. Nikaenda chini ya miguu yake ni kama mfu. Then all is coming to tell you. He came to me. He said, "Oh, all right, the son of God came to me and calls him his Lord, my Lord." Oh, he saw God in His glory. God come in. In the Holy Spirit. Kati kwa migu ya nabi mu, nabi mu. Aki mwambi ya. Lord, Lord, look at what they are doing to me. Jesus, in His glory. Kati kwa utukufu wake. Blasphemy. See, because Christians are full of mediocrity. They don't read the Bible. They what don't read the Bible. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You meet Jesus in his glory. You think you can look, look, look at him twice? You think you can look at him twice? 
Daniel says, my God, when I saw Jesus, Daniel saw Jesus in his glory. Yeah. He also said, I went to his feet as though dead. Daniel anasema, nika muona yesu katika utukufu, nika enenda kwa migui yake kama mfu. Uh, it's not a joke, brother. Si mchezo. Why are we removing the God of aura among the Christians? Mbona tunamuondoa Mungu ambaye ni wa kuhofiwa ndani ya Wakristo? Are Christians living any hour? Ndio maana Wakristo wanaishi jinsi wanavyotaka. Me I see some videos they are playing, you see a pastor saying something. I go like that. Me if I say that I would die. Nikiona wachungaji wanaongea vitu vingine na shangaa nikisema hii nitakufa. Sasa. Then I'm like if I said I would die. Nikisema hiyo atakufa. I, I, I don't see this guy is still alive. Sijui kwa nini huyu bado wako hai. No, no. Hapana, no, no, hapana, no, 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 hapana. This is why someone can be able actually he leads down. It's coming from a Bible study. And a call comes right there in the way. He said niaje. Basi kuna kitu imetokea hapo. Sasa pataka because in that person there's so mediocrity there's mediocrity of high level he has no idea who he's dealing with he has no idea that the god in heaven is feeling when you're doing that that's why you're able to change and turn him and make him stupid and crush him and do anything with him at any time Ndio sababu watu kama hao hawajui wanakabiliana na Mungu aina gani. Ndio maana shetani anaweza finya, apake takataka, azingirishe na akanyage. Maana hawajielewi wameka katika ukawaji. Have you ever yourself why everybody want power? Je, unajua ni kwa nini kila mtu anataka nguvu? Kila mtu apendi power hapa. Have you ever asked why everybody want? Mbona hujawahi jiuliza kwa nini kila mtu anataka nguvu? Power. Everybody want power. Nguvu. Kila mtu anataka nguvu. Have you ever asked yourself? Je, ushawahi jiuliza? Because we all of us get from slavery. The only thing that teaches you that you get to learn and admire from the side of slavery is to look at the power of whoever is engaging you. Sasa kitu ambacho tu unaweza tamani ukiwa katika maeneo ya utumwa ni nguvu za yule ambaye amekufunga. That's why pastorship is being mistaken. Ndio sababu pa. That's why presidency is being pastorship. Ndio maana uchungaji inatamaniwa. That is why people everybody want to become a president. Ndio maana kila mtu anataka kuwa rais. We, 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 we feel like you know when you see me walk here someone takes my bag you are like <laughs> <laughs> Ukiona nikiingia hapa kila mtu anashika mkoba wangu uko <laughs> Lighting alikuwa mimi. Yeah. Kwa sababu ya roho ya utumwa it lies to itself that it is everything. Inajidanganya kwamba ni kila kitu. Slavery misjudge character. Utumwa huwa unatafsiri vibaya tabia. Yes. Yet it is the only thing that protect power and vision. Ila tu hiyo ndio kitu ambacho huwa kinalinda nguvu na maono. It character it is the only thing that impresses God. Sasa tabia ndio tu inampendeza Mungu. Not your 4.6 range around. Sasa sio gari lako linalo Teresa. Some of you think that ukiona hiyo gari kwanza wewe unajua unafurahia. And you think God is also going like Unafikiri Mungu anafurahishwa na hiyo gari ama inamzubaisha? Mediocrity. Ukawaida hapa kwa mawazo. Listen to me. Hebu nisikize. Character protect power. Tabia huwa inalinda nguvu. Character protect vision. Tabia inalinda maono. 
One time I was coming out of the country. Siku moja nilikuwa natoka kwenye nchi. So I'm with my wife. Nilikuwa na mke wangu. Rich Jomo Kenyatta. Tunatoka pale katika uwanja wa ndege. So I come and bring my passport to the immigration. Nikaleta cheti changu cha usafiri katika idara ya usafiri. Akafungua pasi yangu ya kusafiri. He said you are out of the country only for 14 days. Akasema uko nje ya nchi kwa siku 14 pekee. And you don't have a resident pass. Na wewe ndiye mchungaji. You don't have a resident. Na hauna mchungaji ambaye anabaki kanisani. No. You don't have a resident pass. Resident pass. Nimesikia. Oh. oh yes. Huna pasi ya kuishi pale. Yes. So you 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 you're coming you came in with a tourist visa you went out for 10 days. What is bringing you back again in this country? Ulienda pale ukiwa na visa ya utalii siku 14 ni nini nakurejesha? I said I've been waiting for my work permit. Nikamwambia nilikuwa nikingoja pasi yangu ya kufanya kazi. So my 6 months expired while my work permit did not come out. Sasa miezi ya wakati wangu wa kukaa ukakamilika kabla sijapata hati ya kufanya. And because I didn't want to live in your country illegally. Na kwa sababu sikutaka kukaa katika nchi yenu ki. And the law says I have to go outside East Africa so I had to travel out of the country completely. Na sheria inasema lazima niende nje ya Afrika Mashariki ilibidi nitoke. So I've come back. Ndio maana nimerejea. He just took my passport. Akachukua pasi yangu. He took my passport. Akachukua passport yangu. And then he went to this other immigration officers. Akaenda kwa huyo mwingine. Says how what are ni kinanganga. Mm. How what are ni kinanganga. So me I'm standing, I don't even know what is going on. Like asking, what is the problem? All this, 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 Sasa mke wangu anamtazama tu. The man started insulting me. Huyo mtu akaanza kunitusi. He degraded me. Akanishusha. He said all he wanted to say. Akasema chochote ambacho angetaka kusema. I never said a word. Sikusema chochote. He looked at me. Akanitazama. Akusifia started entering him. Nikaona hofu imeanza kumuingia. He left that place, he went, he came back, he still, he served everybody and I'm still standing looking at him. Then he came back. I'm giving you four days. Four days. And then if you want to extend it to seven days, that's your problem. You know, the bracket is seven days. Then you get out of this country. Na utoke kwenye hii nchi. I'm still looking at him. Bado nimemtazama. Then I just stood him. Raka raka raka. Aka andika andika. Aka piga mburi. Do. Aka nipatia. I took my passport. Nika chukua pasi yangu. Plus my wife passport. Na nika chukua ya mke wangu pia. And we walked. Na tuka tembea. I never looked at the passport. Si kuiangalia. I went downstairs. Nikashuka chini kwenye gorofa. The young man who had come with the car. Yule jamaa alikuwa amekuja kwa gari. So he brought my car. Akaleta gari langu. He didn't park at the right place. Hakuiweka mahala pasawa. Because the parking there were many people but he just came. He came out. He doesn't know that that is against the law. You don't do that. Sasa hakujua ni kinyume cha sheria. So he just saw me. He came out of the car. Akaja, akaniona, so kwenye I gari. went as quick as possible to enter the car so that we may drive away. Once tuonoke. I entered, I just see a policeman. Nilipo ingia ndani, nikaona askari. And he told me, Akaniambia, driving license. Nipatia cheti chako cha so since my driving license is always permanently in the car, I just gave the driving license. Sasa, cheti changu cha kuendesha gari huwa kikopale kwa gari ni kampa. So he took, uh, I took the light, driving license I gave him. Nika chukua hiyo driving license ni kampa. He told me, come out of the car. Aka niambia toka kwenye gari. I came out of the car. Nika toka. 
He looked at me. Aka nitazama. What do you do? Wewe hufanya nini? I told him I'm a pastor. Nikamwambia mimi ni mchungaji. He laughed. Akacheka. Akasema huyo nganga mwingine. I never said anything. I'm just looking at him. Sikusema chochote nikamtazama tu. Mhm. Nakuja kufunga kiosk kingine hapa. Mhm. Uko na kiosk? Hallelujah. I just kept quiet. Nikanyamaza. He went with my Bible. He came. Akaenda na Akaenda na na driving license yangu akaja akanitazama. You know he's looking at me if I can make a move. I'm just starting. Ananiangalia kama nitasongeshwa hata kidogo nimesimama tu. He went with my passport, sorry my driving license. Akaenda na driving license yangu. So umesema nini? Mm. I have nothing to say. Sina lolote la kusema. Do what you have to do. Sasa yuko kwenye mamlaka yako usifanya kinye unataka. He left. Akaondoka. Akarejea. Chukua passport. Chukua. Eh, hey, chukua, chukua driving, driving license. license. I took it and I drove. Nikaondoka. Now let me tell you something. Hebu nikuambie kitu. Slavery misjudge character. Sasa utumwa huwa unaona unatafsiri vibaya tabia. Character is the only thing that protect power. Tabia ndiyo tu hulinda nguvu. And vision. Na maono. That is the only thing that impresses God. Hiyo tu ndicho kitu ambacho kinamfurahisha Mungu. Character is fixed. Tabia imewekwa hapo. Statue. Ni kama imesimama hapo. You don't check it. Hauwezi badilisha. Those people. Hao watu. They looked at me. Walinitazama. They knew this guy is predictable. Wakajua hum, huyo mtu hauwezi julikana kile anaweza fanya. Mm -mm. Is predictable. Yaani ana anaweza julikana kile anaweza fanya. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. Sonship wana is predictable inaweza julikana kile kitafanyika people look at me like this wao well, watu walinitazama this guy cannot remove a shilling wakajua huyu mtu hawezi tu hata shilingi moja insult did not move me hiyo haikunisongesha now by the way by the time we were leaving wakati tulipokuwa tunaondoka uliza mke wangu huyu jamaa kageuka a digression he told his people akaambia hao watu that guy Uyo is so something he could never believe. Then I reached home. I opened my passport like this. The guy who said he will give me four days. He stamped and he wrote three months. Alisema atanipa ya siku 4 alipiga mhuri akanipa miezi mitatu. That is something. Hiyo ni wana. So I started asking what is this story about nganga? You know we were not when we were not in the country. The thing that was happening with I don't know kiosk, my kiosk. Ni kaji uliza nini you know, ili kwa inatendeka na nganga sikuepo kiosk matuta. Listen to me, listen to me. This is why pilot Je unamjua Pilato? He came before Jesus. Alikuja mbele ya Yesu. How dare you? Na nakamuliza unaweza. No 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 I'm asking Pilate. Namuuliza Pilato. How dare he? Je unawezaje? The man stand before Jesus. You know mediocrity in his stupidity. Uja mana simama mbele ya Yesu na ujinga na ukawaida. I'm asking you you're not answering me. Nakuuliza na haunijibu. Don't you know I have the power to do to you whatever I can do. Je, hujui nina nguvu za kukufanyia chochote nitakacho. Kimjinga, kimjinga. Kikumbafu. Yesu alimwangalia. Akamwambia. Juno pilot never got it. Unajua Pilato hakujua? There's a nota. You, you don't get those things. You, you don't How get them. Shika hayo mambo kiraisi. You know Jesus told him. Yesu akamwambia. There is nothing you can do to me. Hakuna kitu unaweza nifanyia mimi. Except what you've been allowed to do. Isipokuwa tu kile ambacho umeruhusiwa. This is how I walk every day. Hivi ndivyo ninafanya. What will you do to me? Utanifanyia nini? Before you touch me remove Jesus on the throne. Kabla hujaniguza muone Yesu. Nikisikia Yesu alitoka. Hata mm. mimi naponyoka. Eh. Ah. <laughs> what, what, what will you do to me? Utanifanyia nini? Nini? 
Hey, what will you do to me? You tell me, nini nitafanya? Hey. What will you do? Mm, utanifanyia nini? Na Yesu ambako kwenye kiti cha enzi. Mm. What will you do? Utanifanyia nini? I live in eternity. Ninaishi katika umilele. What will you do to me? There is nothing. Hakuna kitu you unaweza can't even touch me. Uwezi nigusa. Pastor Alois is he asking. Mchungaji Alois yuko hapa muulize. I have worked in campus school. You cast out demons. 3 a.m. Untunakemea mapepo katika machuo mpaka saa 9 The principal yukuri. comes like this. This is my school. Yes, this is your school. Sasa principal anakuja anasema hii ni shule yangu. Namwambia ndio ni yako. 3:30 a.m. I entered the car. Usiku 3:30 and I was casting out all those demons and I drive at 160. Sasa nimetoa haya mapepo saa 9. What na, will you do to me? Ninaendesha gari. It's just in me. Yeah, there's a lot of me. Kuna utika mwingi sana shida ni nini? What will you do to me? Utanifanyia nini? What what will you do? Utanifanyia nini? Amen. Ha. Man, if the devil was strong, you know you would not even be alive. Kama shetani angekuwa na nguvu haungekuwa hai. As a matter of fact, you see him everywhere. Kwa kweli unamuona kila mahali. Like he is omnipotent. Ni kama yeye ako kila mahali. Yaani anajua kila kitu. Mm. Unaingia pale una masturbate the mm. devil. Mm. He was in Asia. <laughs> Unafanya vituko unasema ni shetani na ako kule kwa wahindi. Yani people are seeing the devil. They have given the devil so much power like he's everywhere at the same Yani unapea shetani mamlaka sana ni kama ako kila mahali. Yesterday apostle Waka told you he only come to do this. Is it kimujinga in a lock? And he just walk away. Jaya. Unabaki huko na lock yako. Yule kimujinga unatembea tu pale. Eh shetani kila siku. Unamwona kwa sasa ku lock. Hata yuko huko hapo tu kila siku. Jana wanka alisema huwa anakuja tu kushika mawazo yako na kukufunga. We umefungwa na ameenda. Ayuko. Hata alikuwa na lala. Eh. Hana uwezo wa kuwa kila mahali wakati wote. May the Lord help us. Hebu My Mungu atusaidie. The biggest enemy. Adui mkubwa ni mawazo yetu. The mind. Mawazo. Power without character is disaster. Sasa nguvu bila tabia ni maangamizi. Mwambie jirani yako. Yeah. Open Matthew chapter 25 verse 53. Hebu fungua Mathayo 26 mstari wa 53. Let me show you something. Hebu niwaonyeshe kitu. It says do you suppose that I cannot appeal to my father and he will immediately provide me with more than 12 legions more than 80,000 of angels Now listen to me Hebu nisikize Listen to me Hebu nisikize Power without character is disaster sasa nguvu bila tabia ni maangamizi. Every one of us who is living with the spirit of slavery always goes for power. Kila mtu ambaye anaishi na mawazo ya utumwa huwa anataka nguvu. What is power? Nguvu ni nini? Power is anything that locks you to believe that as long as I have it I will live it on I will live here on earth. Sasa ni kitu ambacho nguvu ni kitu ambacho kinakudanganya kwamba mradi niko nacho nitaweza kuishi hapa ulimwenguni. That's why when someone feels like he has some 50,000 in the account the praise and worship on a Sunday morning has is different. Sasa ndio Because the back of the mind is saying I have 50,000 ndio maana mtu akiwa na elfu hamsini peke yake akiwa nazo kwenye account huwa anakuja kwenye ibada kwa utofauti sana maana ndani ya mawazo yake kuna elfu hamsini kwa kwa account that's why we see some people people fluctuate one sudden scale tunashereke let me tell you it is not him it is the account nashereke that is mediocrity and slavery it's singing ndio maana tunaona watu wanabadilika wakati wako nazo anaimba tunasherekea na swag then you see next sunday unaona jumapili ijayo he walks in church 11 anakuja saa 5 na ungwa na wote. Ah kwani inakaa hivi? Kwani church leo imekaa hivi? Eh kanisa imekaa. Church haijakaa. The same time we use. Ni muda ule ule huwa tunatumia. 
Are you listening to me? So when we are talking about power without character it's disaster. Now listen to this. Jesus Yesu. Judas come he comes with the entire you know battalion the people he carried to. at night Jesus said this is your hour. Sasa Yuda anakuja amebeba watu wale angeweza na Yesu akamwambia huu ni wakati wako. So when they come wanapokuja all this time Peter was talking about power. Wakati huu wote Petro alikuwa anaongea kuhusu. In Matthew Sungu. chapter 26 Jesus is telling them why don't you watch with me? He tell them come. He, he selected them. He brought them closer. Can you make intercession? We watch with me. The Bible in Asema they are sleeping. It's like, oh, you're still sleeping. Yes, you sleeping. Yes, you are sleeping. Yes, you are sleeping. Oh, oh, Jaya, ah. You know, <laughs> the back of mind is talking. Nini? Kisu. Ya uh, kisu. You, you don't understand. You know, let me tell you, when pastor, Wacha be very mchugaji. careful when you are committing meeting with your leaders. Kuwa when they are saying we are with you, Wakisema don't think wewe. they are thinking the way you are thinking. Oh, pastor, acha ni kwambie, pastor. Hey, wingine wako na visu hapa. Na mishale. You, you may think you are thinking the same. When you are saying, I know he shall come. He will pay the rent. He will do this. Then they are not seeing that. Mm. They are not seeing that. Mm. You feel that you are on the same page. You are not on the same page. <laughs> Jesus. You know, Peter, you know Jesus is God. Eh? He yes, knows what mugu. Peter is thinking. Kile Peter is Peter like, anawaza. Mimi, sikuachi. Mm, Sikwachi. Mm. Sikwachi, yes. Mm, yeah. Let the people come. Watch they watch came. Wakaja. Actually, Peter mm. Let me show you where my power is. Watch and go yes. Yes, I'm missing Mama to start you. Mm, She's not moving. Yes, who has songi. Come on, Malia, say Peter. This is so this is what you've been thinking all this time. Peter, this, this is what you've been thinking all this time. Now listen to the word of Jesus. Jesus is like, Peter. Yes, you are Petro. In other words, he was telling him, I'm going to kill him. 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 Peter, don't you know? I can tell my father to put at my disposal 12 legions of angels. A legion from the Roman understanding Katika kuelewa kwa warumi. A division warumi. of the Roman army had 6,000 men. Mm, giant. Mgao wa kikundi cha ujeshi na warumi. That's the minimum. Lilikuwa na watu elfu sita. Maximized to 7,000. Mpaka elfu sabini na bili. These are giant men. Hawa ni majitu. So when Jesus is saying 12 legions. Wakati Yesu wanasema makundi kumi na mawili. He's basically trying to say. Anajaribu kusema hivi kimsingi. God can put at my disposal. Mungu anaweza kunipatia 72,000 angels. Malaika 1072. Now what was scary? Nini ile ilikuwa inashangaza? It is not the 72,000. Sio hawa 1072. Is what the 72,000 angels can do. Ni kile ambacho hao malaika wanaweza kufanya. This is the calculation. In Isaiah 37 verse 36, it says this. Katika Isaiah 37 verse 36, it says this. Then hibi. the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 men 
in the Assyrian camp, when the people got up the next morning, they were all dead bodies. One angel. Malaika moja anaua watu elfu mia moja na nini na tano. Malaika moja fanya esabu. So, if you take the mathematics, seventy-two thousand angels. Malaika. That means 105,000. This is fitness because that is ability of one angel. So you do this times this. It gives you this. 13 billion 320 million. The entire world. That's why I'm trying to tell you it is not even the number of the entire world. Can someone be delivered from mediocrity here? Do you know the God you worship? This is why I don't play with the Jesus I preach. That's why I don't like mediocrity. I don't like it. Because you walk with some people that are blocked in the mind. They Una can't understand the God who works. Stop insulting Jesus. Hebu wate kumtusi Yesu. Amen. You see China. Unaona China. China. They were being beaten by the barbarians. Walikuwa na pigwa na wababerian. Then they suffered too much. Wakateseka sana. You know barbarians are savages. So China decided and said, We can't stay like this. They went and built tall, very tall walls that the barbarian could not even come in. Do you know what the barbarian did? They just came and corrupt the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. They corrupt him. And they walked in. After all the work you've done. <laughs> you can clear the seat. You can clear the seat. Power without character. Disaster. Without character, you lose your vision. Bila tabia utapoteza maono yako. Character strengthen your conviction. Sasa tabia huwa inatia nguvu ushawishi wako. When you look at the dictionary, it says conviction is a family belief. Family. Ina maanisha kuamini kwa 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 ukuu. Listen to me. Hebu nisikize. In Daniel 11:32 so that's why it says for those will know, will know the applied knowledge will firmly not resist firmly resist the antichrist sasa katika danieli 11:32 nasema wale ambao wana imani kamilifu watampinga mpinga kristo so naanza kumalizia but this is where it get excited sasa hapo ndipo inasisimua it's like i've not even said anything ni kama sijasema chochote where i come from mahala ambapo ninatoka there is a congolese say Kuna msemo wa kikongo that says this. Inaosema hivi. Wood may remain 10 years in the water. Mbao inaweza baki ndani ya maji miaka 10. It may remain 10 years in an ocean, in a river, call it in a lake. It would it it would never become a crocodile. Sasa mbao inaweza kaa kwenye maji, kwenye bahari, kwenye mto. Haitawahi badilika iwe mamba. And you take a wood, you throw it in the river. One year, two years, three years, four years, ten years. You can look at it, you find it's still a wood. You know why? Because the wood understands the purpose. The purpose of existence. Purpose. But it is only a human being created in God's image that cannot understand Samahani, why I was created. My God. Why? 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 Why?
maana ya kuishi yani mbao ana eneo nilitengenezwa mbao acha nikae mbao ndani ya maji tu nitoshekeleka wapi bado nitabaki mbao Oh, no. It's only a human being created in God's image that cannot remember that I was created in God's image I must be. Ni mwanadamu tu aliyeumbwa kwa mfano na sura ya Mungu ambaye anasahau. A lady is not married. Mwanamke ambaye hajaolewa. Nataka kukutumia kama mfano. When you look at praise. Unapomwangalia. Look at her chest. Hebu mtazame. What are you saying? She is different than me. Yeye ni tofauti na mimi. That's why she's the way she is. Ndivyo ilivyo ako hivyo. Umeona to kwangu kumefura? Mhm. Ah ah, ni ukweli, acha tulizane. Ukinyang'alia umeona pa kumefura? Ah ah. Mhm. But when you look at her, you can clearly see she has the breast. Ukimtazama unaona ako na titi. Do you know if she doesn't know the purpose? If she doesn't know the purpose of these two breasts? Asipojua kusudi la matiti hayo mawili. That's why she will be in spaghetti tomorrow. E, Half of her breast out. Atakuwa amevaa spaghetti nusu yake iko nje. Because she doesn't know the purpose of it. Maana hajui kusudi. Can you open Proverbs chapter 5 verse 18? Hebu fungua Mithali 5:18. Please thank you. Thank you Jessica. Asante. Thank you baby. Simpigie makofi angalau wajisikia akienda. Now Tell me what is the scripture saying? Maniko Listen to Proverbs chapter 5. Mithali 5 from verse 5 or 8. Verse, no, no no, chapter 5. Verse 18. 18. 18. Okay. It says, "Let your fountain of human life be blessed with the rewards of fidelity mm. and rejoice in the wife of your youth." Uh-huh. Let her be as a loving hind. No, no, no. That's not a good version. Okay. Read, read for me NIV or okay. King James. <laughs> okay, let, let me read King James. Mm-hmm. Proverbs get there, please. chapter 5, verse 18. 18. Mm-hmm. I'll start again. It says, let thy fountain be blessed, be blessed. and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. You. Let her be as a loving hind or hind and pleasant roar. Which version is that? Right? Still King James? Is that King James? Yeah. What I, is an I've not saying? finished. I've not finished. Yes, I know. Oh, I know, okay. but uh, it's okay. Just just finish because of time, please. Just. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times. Let her breast satisfy you all times. And be thou ravished. No, it's okay. May you rejoice in the wife of your youth not the concubine mke of wako wa ujana wako let our breast satisfy you wacha maziwa lake likufurahishe wewe what is that scripture saying hilo andiko linasema nini that scripture nini? tells me hiyo andiko inaniambia that the breast of a woman kwamba titi la mke was created liliumbwa for her husband to be kwa mke wake wa mnaye kuja not for everybody So when I see someone walking with the breast outside ninapomuona mtu akitembea ziko nje inaniambia you are a prostitute wewe ni kahaba because proverbs chapter 7 verse 10 says kwa sababu methali 7 mstari wa 10 inasema out came a woman dressed like a prostitute with crafty intent kunia mbaya kukatoka mwanamke amevaa kama kahaba akiwa na nia mbaya are you listening to me So you can clearly see when you understand the purpose of existence unapoelewa kusudi lako kuishi you live for Jesus utamuishia Yesu you will understand everything that everything in this world has a purpose utahafahamu kwamba kila kitu listening to me kina kusudi je unanisikiza this is why ndio maana when you see this word unapoona hili neno g g l l that's how it started Hivyo ndivyo ilivyoanza. It stand for this. Inamaanisha hii. Choga. And lesbian. Na walawiti. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikiza? It moved from there. Ikatoka hapo. It became what? LGBT. LGBT. BT. Mm. Which stand for? Inamaanisha lesbian. Lesbian. Gay. Mm. Bisexual. Transgender. And transgender. Mm. But I'm about to shock you. Ninataka kuwashangaza. This is why you see. Ndio maana unaona. Kimu wanaume. Mm kimutu kiko na mwili kama mimi mm. kimwanaume mm. kimwanaume mm. 
kiko na mwili hakina matiti mm. kimo anaume kama mimi hivi unaona kimtu kiko kwa barabara unashin here ni upepo ya inaka what, what is wrong with this man man you are created to be a man ah. let, let me tell you what is which it shows you there's a problem inaonyesha kuna shida problem here kuna shida kwa mawazo and the man even come out and tell you that i'm a christian but i was born this way anakuja anasema mimi ni mkristo na nilizaliwa hivi ujinga kabisa this is my right ni haki yangu this is my right haki yangu man let me tell you wacha niwaambie if homosexuality and lesbianism is a right kama ni haki kuwa jinsi hivyo what will you do when you start seeing thieves Ut- coming out <laughs> Pas- utafanyaje ukiona matiti yameanza kuchipua mimi naiba kati nikiona pasa nitaiba nikaeka tena haki yetu we are thieves haki yetu in town we are thieves i was born a thief haki yetu when you see anthropophagist anthropophagist mm. people who eat men watu wanaokula watu start coming out haki yetu mimi nataka nikukule tu nitakukula tu what will you do utafanya nini what, what will you do utafanya nini what will you do utafanya nini and you keep sitting down there no. and you are not manifesting sonship no, you keep sitting hapo. wait until it enters in your house you will know unakaa hapo na haudhihirishi wana una it's coming it's shooting anything ikuja kwa nyumba yako ndio utaamka I've been wondering. Nimekuwa nikishanga. Mimi natoa pesa ku bill kanisa. Mm. Kama tu kanamka tu kesho nasikia kasha nunua siju mosque, kama jenga, kama nunua siju temple, kama sasa kwa ni Yesu akwaje. Mm-hmm. Kwa ni pesa sisi hatuioni. Mhm. LGBT is everywhere. Mm. Rockefeller. Mm. Opera. Mm. Hmm? This man Bill Gates. Bill Gates You got to build the bagas mm. of these people with their behind LGBT like this. Mm. This is how they are today. Hivi ndivyo walivyo. LGBT IQ IQ C A P G N G F N B A. This is who they are. Lesbian gay bisexual transgender mm. intersex, intersex queer, queer curious asexual pansexual gender non conforming gender fluid non binary androgynous what will you do you don't know what is coming that's How why the, spoken, in the spokesman of the church of satan mm. nicola shrik has been looking at a christian is telling them what will hit you will hit you so hard the Yo. average human being will not comprehend what is going around them wale wa, ma, wa kristo wa kawaida hawafahamu ni nini msemaji wa kanisa la shetani yanasema christians don't know what is coming in this world wa kristo hawajui kinachokuja ulimwenguni without sonship you can't beat this Ka, bila uana hauwezi shinda hii you cannot beat this thing hauwezi shinda hii conviction is stronger than compromise Sasa compromise uja... is the source of corruption Sasa kukubaliana ndio chanzo cha ufisadi Corruption is the source of poverty Ufisadi ndio chanzo cha umaskini which is slavery Ambao ni utumwa The corrupt mind um, uh, 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 and the corrupt the mind and the heart Sasa mawazo yaliyofisidiwa ndio moyo ulio na ufisadi Look at this at his deathbed a man called Tom Smith called his children and he advised them to follow his footsteps so that they can have peace of mind in all they do, do. his daughter sarah said daddy it is unfortunate you are dying without a penny in your bank, bank. others fathers that you tag as being what corrupt thieves of public fund left houses and property to properties for their children even this house we live is a rented apartment sorry i can't emulate you just go it means just die let's chart our own course few moment later their father gave up what the spirit. the spirit three years later sarah went for an interview in a multi 
multinational company. At the interview, the chairman of the committee asked, which Smith are you? Sarah replied, I am Sarah Smith. My dad, Tom Smith, is now what? Late. Late. Chairman cut in. Oh my God, you are Tom Smith's daughter? He turned to the other members and said, this Smith man was the one that signed my membership form into what? The Institute of what? Administration. Administrators. Mm. And his recommendation and me where I am today. He did all this free. I didn't even know his address. He knew. He never, he never knew me. Mm. He just did it for me. Mm. He turned to Sarah. I have no question for you. Consider yourself as having gotten this job. job. Come what? Tomorrow your letter will be waiting for you. Sarah Smith became corporate affair manager of the company with two cars, with, with drivers, a duplex attached to the office, and a salary of 100,000 per month, 100,000 euro per month. Pounds, yes. Mm. Excluding allowances and other what? Cost. Cost. After two years of working in the company, the MD of the company came from America to announce, to announce his attention to resign and needed a replacement. A personality with high integrity was sought after. Again, the company consultant nominated who? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Smith. In an interview, she was asked the secret of her Sarah. success. This is the answer. With tears, she replied, my dad paved these ways for me. It was after he died that I knew that he was financially poor, but extremely rich in what? Integrity, Integrity and what? And honesty. and honesty. Now look at this. She was asked again why she was weeping since she's no longer a kid as to miss her dad still after a long time. She replied, at the point of death, I insulted my dad for being an honest man of integrity. I hope he will forgive me in his grave now. I didn't work for all this. He did it for me to what? Just to just walk in. Mm. Are you listening? Mm. So finally she was asked, will you follow your, your father's footstep as he requested? A simple answer was, I now adore what? The man. I have a big picture of him in my living room. And at the entrance of my house, he deserves whatever I have. After God. Are you Tom Smith? The question is this. It pays to build a name. The reward doesn't come quickly. But it will come however long it may take. And it lasts longer. Leave a good and heritage. This is a legacy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to basically tell you something about this. First King 11 verse 9 to 13. Wafalme wa kwanza kumina moja, tisa hadi kumina tatu. Pastor, please help me read as quick as possible. Nisaidie tusome haraka mchungaji. Is someone being delivered? Ye, kuna mtu Is wana someone kumbolewa? being delivered? Kuna mtu wana Are you changing your mindset? Unabadilish wania yako? Praise the Lord. And the Lord was angry with Solomon. I'm sorry, I can't finish without touching on money. And the Lord was angry with Solomon mm -hmm. because his heart was turned from God. Because his heart was turned from God. Mm -hmm. From the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. which had appeared unto him twice mm -hmm. and had commanded him concerning this thing, mm -hmm. that he should not go after other gods. Mm -hmm. But he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Uh, yes. Wherefore, the Lord said unto Solomon, for as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I commanded thee, mm -hmm. I will surely rend the kingdom from thee. And I will surely remove this kingdom from you. Uh -huh. mm. And will give it to thy servant. Mm. Notwithstanding, in thy days, I will do it for David thy father's sake but will rend it out of the hand of thy son. How be it? I will not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David my servant's sake, 
and for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen. Please. Mm -hmm. The best way to teach this is, is to teach it by illustration. Can I use you, pastors, please? please Follow me carefully. This is the climax of my message. Sasa no, not daddy, please sit down. Please come. I want to show you something of what you've been taught here. That it is not allowed. From Wednesday. You've been taught about eternity, isn't it? This is King Solomon. Huyu ni mfalme Suleimani. This is King David. Huyu ni mfalme Daudi. King David is dead. Sasa mfalme Daudi amekufa. This is the son of King Solomon in eternity. Sasa huyu ni mwana wa mfalme Suleimani katika umilele. Who is not born yet but he exists. This king became evil. Sasa huyu mfalme akaasi. He brought all kind of Asherah's poles, idols of his concubines in the temple of God Almighty. Akaleta miungu za wake zake katika hekalu la Mungu mkuu. God became so mad about his character. Na Mungu akakasirishwa na tabia yake. But it's like God is locked. Listen to me. God is like with what you've done. I'm even killing you. But I can't. I can't do anything. And for the sake of your father who served me so well and yet the father is dead. But he's still speaking. For the sake of your father. I can't even take everything away from you. But I will give I will leave at least one tribe to you. Not because of you. But because of my father. Your, your father. But listen to me. I will tear this kingdom. But I will not tear it from you. I will tear it from your children. What has this man done? Walk away from mediocrity. What legacy do you want to leave to your children? You Kenyan, God has to deliver you. I have walked in many countries. I am sorry, Kenyan, you must be delivered for money. From money. You, you must, must be delivered. Something is wrong in this country. Kenyan have a mediocrity here. Kenyan live by a salary. Kenyans live by a salary. They live it's mediocrity. No, you have understand. Mm. My salary is only twenty thousand. Mm. I have already planned for everything. How do, how do you want me to, to, to give beyond that? I can't do anything. I've already planned. I'm just sincere with God. You are sincere with God because you are living on earth. You are not living in eternity. That's why you are poor. 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 Do you know how much I pay in town? How much I pay the church in town? 450,000 per month. Then come and see the members I have. They don't pack 4.6 range mm. It's all here. There's something wrong. 
Kuna kitu ambacho sisi. Because I've been preaching child, to remove Kenyans from the mindset of a salary. Nina ujumbe nimekuwa mediocrity. Walk away from it. Salary, salary, Ondoka, salary every time salary. Shahara, salary I'm waiting we are waiting for a salary. We are having a fundraising. It is not the end of the month. Mm. Salary. Shahara. It is all about here. Mm. Salary. Shahara. It is slavery. Ni, it is mediocrity. Ni ukawaida mawazo duni. Yes. That's why they are not in Bible studies. That's why churches are suffering. That's why we we'll find them in meetings because they are chasing one thing after another one that they will never get. Ndio maana hawaji mkutano wanatafuta kitu ambacho hawawezi kukipata. Now let me show you. Hebu niwaonyeshe. I want to show you why I pay 450,000. Wacha niwaonyeshe kwa nini nalipa hizo pesa na si shtuki. Even if God say pay 1 million, I'll pay. Hata Mungu akiniambia lipa milioni moja nitalipa. In Mark chapter 5. Katika Marko sura ya 5. I'll just paraphrase the story. Nitawaambia hadithi ya hiyo hadithi. Jesus is coming from the water. The yes. Sea of Galilee. Yes, we are not talking when you going to a town called Gesa- Gerasenes. And I end up at the town called Gennesareti. Yes, G- Geras. Is, okay, it's something like that. Mm. So Gennesaret. he was attacked by the storm. So I am a cutan and na 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 na. He took the storm. Because demons knew already that he was in a, he was on a mission in that town. Man, a people will do a yeah, a metumu a pale. Jesus comes out of the at the show. Yes, we are not talking and kudya kwenye nchi kavu. A demon possessed man. Mtu ambaye ako na mapepo. Comes. Anakuja. Faces Jesus. Na anamtazama Yesu. What do you have to do with us? Una nini nasi? Jesus asked. Yesu, Who are you? Wewe ni nani? The man said, my name is Limjon because anasema, we are many. I'm paraphrasing. Anasema mimi ni makundi maana tuko wengi. Now listen to the language of the demon. Hebu sikiza lugha ya pepo. NIV says. Katika tafsiri ya NIV the demon in the man ile pepo ndani ya mtu begged jesus ikamsii yesu said do not cast us out of the area ya kwamba usitutoe katika eneo hili king james says tafsiri ya king james inasema do not cast us out of the country usitutoe katika nchi hii both translation tafsiri zote mbili in the context they are correct ziko sawa because in those days katika nyakati zile even a small area could be called a country Kaeneo kidogo ingeitwa nchi. But NIV says an area. Lakini NIV inasema yes. eneo. So when you look at it, unapoitazama, it is not making sense. Haimaanishi chochote. Because the demons, kwa sababu mapepo, they would have begged Jesus. Wangemsii Yesu, do not cast us out of this man. Usitutoe ndani ya huyu mtu. They didn't ask don't cast us out of this man. Hazikusema usitutoe ndani ya huyu mtu. Do not cast us out of the area. Zilisema usitutoe maeneo haya. How is the area benefiting them while they are in this man? Je, maeneo haya yanafaulu waje kama yako ndani ya huyu mtu? Kwa sababu kuna maroho. They they are spirits. Kuna maroho. They are. Haya ni maroho. They needed a physical body to bind. Yalihitaji mwili wa asili ili yafunge. Yet an altar. Yatengeneze madhabahu. So that they can control the area. Ili waweza kuweza so kushika Jesus eneo hilo. The problem of the area. Yesu alijua shida ya eneo lile. Is in this man. Himo ndani ya huyu mtu. So Jesus comes. Yesu anakuja. Now this is where it's shocking. Hapa ndipo inashangaza. Can anyone here? Mom, I heard you were working in the sector of uh, what, what was agriculture. Oh, mm. agriculture. I thought in the sector. Of, who was who was in the sector of animals and all this? Oh, yeah, oh so you, yeah, yeah. okay. Yes. I have livestock. Yeah. Yes. I have gone. I'm not saying that it is not there. Mm. But I have tried to reconcile with these times that you are living 2019 years after. Yani many years many. that this story happened. Nimejaribu kulinganisha miaka hiyo yote. Someone. Na? Someone. Mtu who has 2000 pigs. Ambaye ako na nguruwe elfu mbili. Do you know that's not a small number? Hizo si chache. Mimi nimeona watu unasikia kafaka is so rich unasikia 200 300 pigs. Mm. 2000 pigs. Nguruwe elfu mbili. Jesus comes at Ye- the show. Yesu anakuja kando ya bahari. Cast out the demons. Anakemea zile pepo. Send them in 2000 pigs. 
pigs. Anazituma kwa nguruwe elfu mbili. And pigs ran to the water. Na nguruwe zikaenda ndani ya maji. Man, that was the economy of an entire region. Sasa hiyo ilikuwa uchumi wa eneo nzima. He replaced it for one soul. Akairejesha kwa nafsi moja. When you have mediocrity here, you can't live like that. Wakati una ukawaida kwa mawazo wewe. This is why you are poor. Ndio maana sisi ni maskini. You don't care for God. Haufikiri mambo ya Mungu. You're living like you're in it. Hauishi kwa sababu ya Mungu. Ulileta. Haukuleta chochote ulimwenguni na hautabeba chochote. Aibu. You come to church driving big cars. You over there. Your church doesn't even have a plot. Unakuja. You're not ashamed. Una... You're not ashamed. You claim your Christians with sons of God. Wana wa Shame. Shame on you. Aibu. Shame on you. Aibu. Jesus replaced 2000 pigs for one soul. Yesu akabadilishana nafsi moja kwa nguruwe 1000 nafsi moja, nafsi moja. Nafsi moja. He didn't bother. Hakujali. If they will eat or do not eat. Hakujali kama watakula kesho ama hatakula. That's why I don't care. Sijali. Even if it means I pay 500,000. Hata nikilipa nusu milioni nitalipa. You have a house. Una nyumba. Your church is meeting in a place that you're paying rent. Mm. Sit. Let me surprise you. Mm. You will leave them. Utasiaje hapa? Mm. Wezi na Watazitumia vibaya na umekuwa manazo. Mm. Did you see God say because of the money Solomon has or because of the money mm. your father had? Kwa sababu ya pesa Suleimani alikuwa nazo ama baba. Hamfuati hadithi. The daughter of Tom Smith. Huyo mwana. She was looking for an opportunity to repent. Alikuwa anatafuta fursa ya kutubu. Lakini babake alikuwa ameaga. He told Daddy. Akamwambia baba. You just go even the house we are living is a rented. Wewe enda hata ile nyumba tunaishi imekotishwa. Kwa sababu ya uduni wa mawazo. I have built for my children. Mm. I keep telling praise and David every day. Mm. John. Even if I am not there today. I can tell you. There is no day you can pass my praise. Umuone chokora kwa barabara. Mm. It cannot happen. Mm. I have built their legacy. Nimetengeneza hadithi yao. You know that's why we are poor. Ndio maana sisi ni maskini. That's why we are poor. Mm. Because we are living like we are living here on earth. Ni kama tunaishi ulimwenguni. That's something. Tuishi katika umilele. Live in eternity. Ishi katika umilele huo ndio wana. I tell you look at your sister. Mm. He's a pastor. He will mm. take care of you. But when he sits down, look and say, what do I do? Mm. What have I not taught him? Mm. That's how poor we are. Mm. On the day of our third anniversary of the church, someone walked in and took an envelope he gave me. I didn't even bother. So I went to the office, I just took this and I took this. Tukisherekea miaka tatu ya huduma mtu alingia. Akaweka kwenye bahasha title deed ya shamba. Said, I'm giving it to you. Akasema mchungaji ninakupa. I said I cannot own a house and God has no house. Mimi siwezi kuwa na nyumba na Mungu hana nyumba. And I gave it to the church. Nikaipeana kanisani. You know let me tell you. Wacha niwaambie. Whoever is not faithful with little. Asiyekuwa muaminifu na chache. Cannot be faithful with much. Hawezi kuwa muaminifu na nyingi. If you cannot remove 100 from your 1000 to give God. Kama hawezi toa 100 kwa 1000 upe Mungu. Give God when he's given you 1 million. Hautawahi mpa Mungu hata akikupa bilioni moja. Haiwezi tendeka. And they will never be enough. Na hazitawahi tosha. Have you ever noticed that every time you got money Ushawahi gundua kila wakati uko na pesa. Unakuwa na stress. Put your bill down. Mm. You've never discovered that every time you got money. Kila wakati you start putting your bills. You become more stressed. Una, una Have you ever finished any problem? Mm. We live like slaves. Tunaishi kama watumwa. In few days me and my wife and the children because the visa is expiring again six months we've not gotten yet our work permit because there's a stupid man sitting there claiming to be a christian who is saying 
I have to give him 200,000 to, to give me the work permit. I said, listen to me, you will wait for him. Mtu anangoja nimpe 1200 and I did my interview. Mm. And I passed the interview in the hands of a strange Muslim. He looked at me and said, I'm even wondering. He started looking and said, you are a bachelor degree in Bible and theology. You have a master's in leadership. You have a master's degree in divinity. And you're doing your doctorate. And I have looked to your trace what you've done in this country. And you don't have a work permit. I'm giving it to you. The man, a Muslim, mm. he wrote the report, he compiled it, and he gave it to my lawyer. Mm. The lawyer brought it to Nairobi. Mm. Now, the person who claimed to be a Christian, he says, when you Muslim, I'm a petition to you, keep a look cooler. Spoke cooler, me and Billy Hafa, who you pass us out. And then he's telling my lawyer, he's saying, when you pass up and I figure out even now, when you have a pastor and I put your face up at the cooler, see what? You can sit, me. no, my God. Mm. No, brethren, we have to cry. Something is wrong. Mm. So if you're not going to manifest sonship, mm. we are doomed. Mm. Because you are the only one that God is waiting Mungu to do jawe. something. Mm. While this man is thinking that we are going to serve, mm. we are focused serving God. Focus serving God. Mm. Focus. We have to get out of the country. Our visas are expiring mm. on a fast. Mm. December. Mm. We need 400,000 Kenya shillings. Mm. He went down. Someone, not from church, just came and swept his card. 320,000 for all our children. My entire family. It's because, stop living in slavery. Mm. You think God doesn't know what you're going through? He knows. When I live here, do I look poor? Yeah. But do you know my account? It's been dormant almost a year now. <laughs> what are you hearing you? You wonder. I don't know what is wrong. Are you hearing? Is there something completely wrong? I have to stop if I continue to live tomorrow. Thank you, Pastor. Please sit down. Uh, if I continue to live tomorrow, I'm openly telling you. Mm. Are you listening to me? We just have to change the way we are living. Jesus drowned. Yes, Two thousand. Yes, that was an, in, an entire economy of that, that city. Yani, wa huo mji. For one soul. Kwa sababu ya nafsi moja. You've come to build here. You're living like that. Let me show you. At least I have to make you read the scripture. Because so that you see, you don't say it is me who's saying it. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Integrity, discipline, self-control, fear of God makes a man wealthy. Not the fat bank account. Open First Timothy chapter six and listen. First Timothy chapter six. There is no such thing as financial security. It's a lie. It's a lie. Get delivered. Kombolewa. Please read it, please. First Timothy chapter six, verse seventeen and eighteen. Charge them that are rich in this world. In this world. Mm. That they be not high-minded, uh -huh. nor trust in uncertain riches. Uncertain. There is nothing. It is not certainty. Mm. Uh -huh. But in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, mm -hmm. that they do good. That they be rich in good works. In good works. Ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Uh -huh. Lay up in store for themselves a good fountain against the time to come. My God. 
that they may lay hold of eternal life. My God. Actually, I like an IV. And IV says, tell them not to put their trust in this thing. This is fantasy. Mm. But to lay up in what is truly life. It's like this is fantasy. It is not this life that we are seeing here. I have asked always myself this question. Why will not God just say rapture happened it is over. Then when we return after tribulation then we enter in the new city. Kwa nini Mungu hatasema tu tunyakuliwe na tukirudi tuingie tu majira mapya? Why millennium? Kwa nini kuwe na millennium? I think millennium will exist. Millennium itakuepo. To tell us how we were supposed to live here on earth. Kutufunza jinsi ambavyo tulipaswa kuishi ulimwenguni. Yes. Ndio. With what we call that what we call the doctrine of glorification and corruptible bodies, the mindset the understanding living with a king reigning here on earth in Jerusalem in the physical bodies. That's why millennium exists. When you lose your character, you lose your vision. This is why Solomon and Samson lost his vision. The very people you compromise are the very people that will take your vision. You lose power. Ecclesiastes 10, 16 says, what to the land that a child is a king. Are you listening to me? Je unanisikiza? Character defined is what? Fixed. Character is like a stairs. Sasa tabia ni kama ngazi, imewekwa hapo imedhibitika. Character is what? Stitcher. It does not move. Haitongi. You go, you come back, you find it. Statue, yeah. Are you listening to me? Unaenda unaipata huo ndio uwana. Character is what? Set principles. What is the purpose of this? This is a chair. Mm. To be sat on. Hiki ni kiti cha kukaliwa. That's a principle. Hiyo ni kanuni. Ukienda urudi baba katika jina la Yesu. Tata, iwe kitanda. Kuna mtu atawaikalia. Mbafu. Someone will come wipe it. Mtu atakuja apanguzia akalie. That's a principle. Hiyo ni kanuni. Are you listening? And character is what? Predictable. Predictable. Mm. When people be very careful, my God, ukiona mtu amekukaribia na corruption, ujue kuna shida hapo maisha. Mm. Lia hiyo siku toka kwa hiyo office ujiulize kwani huyu jamani ona nini ndani yako. Kwa nini alikuja kwa wangu? It's a problem. When I'm and akwambia ukweli. When you see you in an office, usikie niaje. Sister kuja kidogo. Hema siku na pesa tumeingia hapa. There is something questionable. questionable about you. Mm. Character is predictable. Mm. Someone knows. Sijaribu mm. hapo. Huyu kienda. Huyu police alikasirika kwa hali juma hivyo. Sasa hapa pesa sita. Najua huyu bila mesimama kijangalia. Hata sijui ni nani. Huyu hata anaweza nika kwa jela huyu. Na watu walikuwa wamenyamaza hapa hivi. Chunga. Utasikia tu simu. Amepiga nani? Minister wa security na. Mm. Mm. Be very careful. Mm. Character is predictable. Mm. People are able to read you the no. Uyu achana eh. Mm. Ukiona dem anakusongea suggestively. Mm. Ujui kuna kitu aliwapa. Mm. Kwa sababu anajua you hug women so much. I don't yeah. hug women. Uh, na shindo kwa nini unakasirika kwa sababu siku hug. Mm. Ukikasirika kuna shida. Mm. Kwa nini lazima ni kwa hug? Eh? Hey, kwa nini lazima ni kwa hug? Ni nini unataka kwangu na kasirika kwa nako sababu sija kwa haka. Karaka is predictable. Tabia uweza kuitakua. Kuna eza bashiri wewe ni nani? Amen. Amen. He says, if indeed we share 
in his work. In order that we all we may also share in his glory. Sonship credibility comes from what you survive. Your credibility does not come there again. Do you have a story? What have you survived? That's sonship. Do you have a story? When we talk about you, what do we say about you? Tell us about your story. Are you listening to me? Yes. This is why sonship focuses on promises. Not explain. People today, every Christian that they're going through problems. Why me? Please ask your neighbor, why not you? Whether you look at Joseph in prison, Moses in Israel, at the Red Sea, David in the cave, Jesus at Calvary, the lesson is the same. We live by promises. No explanation. God has no time to give explanations. You are going through something. Sonship is manifested by you go back at what the word says. That is eternity. You believe what is said and you speak it. God comes. Not explanation. What that is why you find Christians. Because we want to pray. We will pray. We don't want to believe without faith. Why do you think you tell Christians pray? I always read it. When I came here, Apostle Parker was leading people to pray. You know, I said, you walk here. And then you walk. After we are teaching about a mindset of mediocrity, how do people see the dark? You want them! My God, after all you have had, you still live it like it is okay? What do you think it is now? Like? Oh, that's a good answer. Ten people pray, you just see people pray. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, Jesus. Pray, 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 There is nothing that went in that can come out. The devil does not fear your empty one. The devil fears the one of God, the promises. The promises. The promises. The promises. That is what the devil fears. Are you listening to me? That is why you find when someone is sick, he's allowed to use you. Lay hands. I thank you. Because of what your word says in Psalm chapter 34. Mm -hmm. Lord, the righteous, my God, to the crowd, Lord, the Lord, the Lord, over there. Mm -hmm. No bones of that shall be broken. Mm -hmm. I thank you for what your word says mm -hmm. in Isaiah 52. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are beaten beyond human recognition. Mm -hmm. Your word says in 53. Your word says, Lord, in James chapter 5, that we will lay hands and pray on the righteous man is powerful. And I stand in the name of Jesus. I rebuke this sickness in the world. Those are not my words. Those are the heaven and the are away from you. You can't even dare come near you. Stop living in this world of not growing in the word of God. You need to read the word. I am not saying it because I want pride. I am not saying this because of pride.
then nothing for me. Now when this woman was Pastor, he got this kind of prayer. And then after he got this kind of prayer, it's time for his family. Then I went in my master's program. I discovered completely. I didn't understand. I started discovering about them taking me in another realm. Then they started teaching me this. They said, a leader. Skips after everybody. And he went something for everybody. Then I'm like, what is what now? <laughs> no, I started discovering. If they so hard, they hard, they hard. <laughs> the discipline, you get what you want. And in my master, they started teaching me them to leave the realm of it. This is why, even in Proverbs chapter 31, a normal woman, they say one it does at night, a lamp does not go off. And she wakes up when it's still dark. And I love her sangha. I love her sangha. That's leadership. That's leadership. That's leadership. When you leave that dark, you are no longer living in the realm of the flesh. They are waiting for me to be sick. So I am sick. They need sick every day. I am over 50. You don't like that, I am over 50. Every day. I stay for two hours. Because I pray at night. And I woke up. I do my Bible study in less than five hours. It has become my food. I live this every day. I live this every day. It has transformed me. It has changed my mindset. You wait for me to be sick. You will be sick and die for the body you. I am still here. I try. I cast out demons. I can pray for all of you here. By the time we come out to Utango, Rota Pagali, and I will reach home and I will pray at night. Amen. You don't do things, spiritual things, the way you do them with your mindset of the planet. It does not work. Are you listening to me? Don't live by explanation. Live by promises. Are you listening to me? Yes. Dio. Consider how unreasonable God's request for Isaac was. Abraham only son. The future. The covenant rested on him. Many of you don't know. This is what it is. The entire Bible emphasizes the sovereignty of God and the wisdom of his deliverance. If you don't know that, you will become bitter with God. Listen, Abraham and Sarah waited 24 years. Oh. Isaac and Rebecca waited for 20 years. Yes. Jacob had to labor for 10 years to obtain his two wives. Rachel was barren and had to wait. Joseph had to wait 20 years before he was reconciled to his brothers. When you don't live in the realm of eternity, you won't understand this. This is why everybody thinks life is a great stand, because this is a path. The tension seems logical, while trial seems unreasonable. Because when you live in the world, you cannot look at trial making sense. That's why you keep going. Why is this happening to me? Because it is unreasonable from the realm. The immortal man cannot understand this thing. You must start entering in the realm of eternity for you to understand that trials is making sense. That's why I can't understand. Someone is looking at me, Pastor. Give this man 200,000 and you buy a work permit. That is logical. But trial seems unlogical. That's why we all of us have become poor. Because we live in a realm of logic. The 
Putem afla din Red of Logic. Cum am tăiat culul cu ea. Am tăiat culul cu ea. Cum am tăiat culul cu ea. Cum am tăiat culul cu ea. I always believe that. Chiar when they went in jail. Yes. Let me just not have a minute. The, 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 before. The Egyptians. Yes, the Egyptian Pharaoh. Yes. And he made a God stop him. But when Abraham moved from the red, he started living by sight. That's why he said, this is my sister. And he gave his wife to Pharaoh. Are you listening to me? Yes. He gave his wife to Pharaoh. And let me tell you, something went wrong. You must get out of that realm. Because when you start living with God, let me tell you, trials are unreasonable. And reasonable, living eternity, you will understand. 